The story of devouring the starry sky and continuing the story of Luo Feng arriving at the infinite source space. At the intersection of the dark underworld and the infinite Hunyuan space is the silent heaven. Countless source worlds will slowly drift towards the silent heaven, eventually dissipating and destroying, and only the Lord level Hunyuan life can withstand the extinction force of the silent heaven. In the sky of silence, there is a heavenly abyss pillar, time and space axis, called the Hunyuan Heavenly Abyss, also known as the Land of Primordiality. On the outside, it appears to be a huge and boundless pillar, carved with profound space taboos and time taboos, intersecting to form the time and space taboos, which is the key to the support of the Heavenly Abyss Pillar. However, destruction is the end of the world, and reincarnation is the essence of the world. There is a beginning and an end, and the end is also the beginning, which is reincarnation. Beyond the reincarnation of the world, it is extreme. Keywords of the novel Swallowing the starry sky Muddy source space without pop-ups, swallowing the starry sky Muddy source space Download the complete set of TXT, swallowing the starry sky Muddy source space Latest chapter reading Chapter 1 Infinite Muddy Source Space You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Infinite Muddy Source Space In the Human Race Hall of Xingqin City, Luo Feng looked towards the direction of the infinite Hunyuan space and saw those two figures. He immediately took a step and disappeared into the hall. The infinite chaotic space is the chaotic space outside the source world, and the chaotic force here is commonly referred to as the chaotic force, which becomes the chaotic space. Luo Feng's figure stepped out of the continent of origin and arrived in the vast and chaotic space. At this moment, he had the intention to carefully examine this chaotic space. This is not simply a three-dot-dimensional space, but a multi-dot-dimensional space-dot-time, with each spatial dimension extending towards different directions of the source space. Each step may lead to different areas, and without the induction of divine clones, there is even a possibility of getting lost if one goes far. Moreover, this seems to be a space-time that contains many layers of space, even though the space is extremely stable, one can feel a large number of layers of space-time, layer by layer, which is quite mysterious. The surrounding space-time of the continent of origin is the collapse and distortion of countless dimensions, converging into one source world, just like countless space-times carrying a huge celestial body. The entire source world is like hanging within a spatial layer. Luo Feng glanced back and immediately looked into the distance. In the vast void, Yuan, dressed in a floral robe, looked at Luo Feng with a smile. Jin Chuan, dressed in a gorgeous golden robe, looked like a wealthy young master, while Yuan was an old man from the countryside. This contrast was too obvious. Luo Feng had an idea that, with the help of the power of the world within his body, teleported before Yuan and Jin Chuan. Is the matter finished? Yuan asked with a smile. Isn't that why you came to find me? Luo Feng felt helpless, while Jin Chuan couldn't help but laugh. You kid, you can fart recklessly, you can't talk nonsense. We've been waiting here for a long time, but we didn't call you out. You came out on your own, didn't you, Xia Quanzi? Yuan Xiao glanced at Luo Feng, while Jin Chuan smiled. Yuan Yi waved his hand, and suddenly the world under his feet changed. In an instant, it seemed like a huge piece of land had evolved, and their location was where an ancient and simple stone table appeared, with three large wine glasses placed on it. There are also some fruits that Luo Feng has never seen before. Xiao Chuanzi, take out your good wine and don't be stingy, Yuan said to Jin Chuan. Jin Chuan looked at Yuan reluctantly and couldn't help but say, Old thief Yuan, you have the most good things on your body, and you can't bear to part with them. Lord Luo Feng, who has just become a lord, is so stingy. You are going too far. As he spoke, Jin Chuan still took out a golden red wine jug and said, This one, Huishang Sui, was brewed by me for a long time. The price is no less than a Hunyuan divine weapon. Old thief Yuan, you need to bring out some good things. 
Yuan looked at the golden wine jug with a bright eye. It had been a long time, and he had only drunk it twice, both of which were reluctant to give it to Jin Chuan. It's easy to say. You've already taken out the Huashang Sui, so of course I need to bring out some good goods. Yuan said, flipping his hand, and a jade-colored wine pot appeared in his hand. I'll take out this piece of by Yuan Xian Quan. That's interesting, isn't it? If I want to get this piece of by Yuan Xian Quan, I'll have to run a lot of places. Upon seeing this scene, Jin Chuan was somewhat satisfied. Only Luo Feng looked at it, feeling a bit confused and unable to laugh or cry. The emotions between these two people were usually stingy and searched for each other, but this time they were just as generous. It seems that I have to thank my two brothers for their warm hospitality, Luo Feng said to them with a smile. Luo Feng, in the future, you need to take less advantage of him. This guy, if you take one point of him, he wants you to pay back two points. I just came out of my source world and didn't expect to become a lord. There's such a greedy old thief who even made me run into him. Jin Chuan said to Luo Feng. Shit can be eaten indiscriminately, but you can't talk nonsense. You're just thinking in a pot, right? Luo Feng, don't listen to him talk nonsense. I don't have many hobbies in my daily life, but I just like to eat and drink. If I drink too much of him, he won't be satisfied. I remember the time I even invited you to drink Biyu and Xinxuan. Yuan retorted. Luo Feng couldn't help but laugh and cry. It seems that these two people still enjoy bickering. Last time we met, we thought it was quite serious, but now we can't even stop bickering. Brother Yuan and Brother Chuan, thank you for your hospitality this time. The next time I get to know you well here, I'll invite you two brothers instead, Luo Feng continued. That's pretty good, that's enough with your words, Yuan smiled and said. Jin Chuan also smiled. Luo Feng immediately felt like he had been deceived. Shouldn't these two be working together to trick him? Come on, come on, first taste my Bai Yuan Xian Quan. It's a celebration to Luo Feng that you broke the law with your strength, became the lord, and officially became the third, adding strength to us. Yuan poured wine into all three glasses, and his one was the most full. The glasses of Jin Chuan and Luo Feng were only about two dot thirds of the amount. Luo Feng watched this scene and shook his head and smiled, but he still picked up his glass. Done, said Jin Chuan. The three lords drank it all in one gulp, and Luo Feng only felt a refreshing sensation in his stomach. A comfortable and refreshing sensation immediately spread throughout his body. With a stirring sensation, his whole body felt comfortable and ethereal. This feeling made him feel that this Buen heart spring was not a mortal object, no wonder Yuan treated it as a treasure. Let's try my fire and sorrow flint again. When these two are paired, it's a combination of ice and fire. Jin Chuan also poured three wine glasses, but he filled all three, without the petty demeanor of Yuan. He drank it all in one gulp again, and Luo Feng could only feel two waves of breath stirring inside his body, one cool and the other warm, two sensations. He had never tasted such a good wine before. Yuan chuckled and looked like he was enjoying himself. After arriving at the infinite Hunyuan space, we are not exactly the same life forms as those born Hunyuan ancestors. Although there are also friendly relationships between us, most of them are hostile. Walking together and drinking with those who have experienced the same thing is the greatest pleasure, and we enjoy it every time. The three lords communicated briefly, all talking about some joyful things in the chaotic space. Of course, most of them were Yuan and Jin Chuan bickering with each other, and no one was humble to each other. Suddenly, Luo Feng felt that these two were indeed close friends, no wonder they could come together. Even if they bickered with each other, it did not affect their friendship. Full of wine and fruit, all three lords were also very satisfied. Finally, Luo Feng's gaze followed his faint sensing direction and turned to the eternal land. Within his perception range, it seemed that that place was the most mysterious place he could feel. Dao said, 
Brother Yuan, Brother Chuan, let's get down to business. I remember just breaking through that time and being able to perceive a wide area, but now that I'm here, it's very blurry and even imperceptible. Although I can roughly feel something now, there are also many confusions and incomprehensions. This chaotic space is very strange, and I can even feel many forces that are not weaker than the chaotic power, especially in that direction. Yuan also looked in the direction that Luo Feng was looking at, and his expression seemed to undergo a 180 degree change. His smile narrowed and he said, the place you are currently perceiving is called the Eternal Land, which is the most mysterious and special place we can perceive. The Hanyuan space can actually be considered truly infinite, so it is also known as the infinite Hanyuan space. No one knows its size yet. In addition, you should also be able to easily feel that in Hanyuan space, there are only weak spatial rules and powers, or it is difficult to perceive them, and the space is very stable. Only a few top-notch lord level forces can tear apart the space.time here. In different layers of space.time, the space is full of mystery and strangeness. If you enter the space.time layer, you may accidentally fall into an irreversible situation. The space here is the highest dimensional, and there is no higher dimensional space than this. It is a universal space, to be precise, a mysterious space with a total of 10,081 dimensions. In this space, nature possesses various high-dot-dimensional powers, and there are also eerie places where multiple dimensions collapse, distort, and become chaotic. Even at the Lord level, one may actually get lost in it. As you mentioned earlier, when you break through to the realm of the Lord, you can feel many things in this space. That's just the moment when you break through. The Hanyuan power transforms your body and gives you the power of perception. Naturally, you can feel the existence of other powerful life forms. This is something allowed by the rules. In addition to making you feel the world, it also informs all parties about the Hanyuan life and your arrival. But now, your perception should be very vague. Except for the eternal land, you can't even perceive other places. The Hanyuan space is very mysterious, containing various unknowns, opportunities, or crises. Even at the Lord level, we cannot venture into the Hanyuan space recklessly. Even us, in unknown areas, must be cautious. Dot. As for the time flow in the Hanyuan space, you can also feel that it is slower than the time flow in the source world, with a ratio of approximately 1 to 10,081. In the source world, 10,081 years have passed, while in the infinite Hanyuan space, only one year has passed. The time in the infinite turbid space is already outrageous, and in the eternal land, there is no concept of time, or in other words, we cannot detect it, which is eternity. Of course, there is also a speculation that in the eternal land, there is another set of time rules, which is only relative to the infinite turbid space and is static, not non-existent. The eternal land also undergoes changes, and from the perspective of time properties, it is not static. The eternity of time in the eternal land is relative to this special place itself, but for the life that enters it, it is not unaffected by time. Jin Chuan and I both attend it, and as we enter it, time still has an impact on us. The seats in the eternal land are only qualified to enter by the absolute peak power in this space. There are now 18 thrones in the Eternal Land, 5 of which are the ancestors of the innate Hanyuan life group, and 11 are some special Hanyuan life forms. They are companions in this space, each with incredible power. The remaining two are for us practitioners. However, your appearance, Luo Feng, will soon add one seat. It seems that those who come out of the Source world will be directly invited and recognized. As for the significance of the existence of the Eternal Land, it represents a symbol of strength and identity, allowing you to enjoy the top treasures in this space first. However, the source and secret of the Eternal Land have yet to be discovered by anyone, and it has always been a mystery. Yuan slowly talked about the situation and rules of infinite turbid space. Infinite Hanyuan space is very special, mysterious, and has many opportunities, but it is also full of dangers and has limitations on the power of space. 
If it does not have the internal world and form a closed loop of space power, it is difficult to achieve teleportation from a long distance, and can only teleport for a short distance. Even if able to teleport, the Lord dare not teleport recklessly, because this space contains too many unknowns, without maps or markings. Once trapped in some special places, even the Lord may be trapped forever. In the Hunyuan space, there are also various peculiar and dangerous places, some of which are visible spacetime, while others are hidden in the spatial layer. The eternal land among them is the most special existence, and time is stationary relative to the infinite turbid space, and what is stationary is only this special space itself. In addition to the special place of eternal land, the second largest world is the one that nurtures the innate Hunyuan life group, which are the largest worlds that the Yuan family can explore. For example, the Taishu Great World and the Taichu Great World are the largest worlds in this area of the Hunyuan space. Their size is even larger than the thousands of Hunyuan worlds, and they can be considered one of the largest celestial bodies in the infinite Hunyuan space. They nurture many natural Hunyuan level world life, such as the ones who are naturally the most powerful, and are all companions of these two worlds, Hunyuan life. And the innate Hunyuan life group, as well as the special Hunyuan life in Hunyuan space, have many races, and even in the infinite Hunyuan space where a single unit operates, there are over 10 million known Hunyuan life types, let alone other life forms in the source world, which can reach billions of billions. Among them, most of the innate Hunyuan life forms, including the ancestors in the larger world and some special Hunyuan ancestors, enjoy eating in the source world, so they are also considered enemies that the source world must face. Such as the Infinite Snake Clan, the Dark Ice Demon God Clan, and the Source Heaven God clan, they love to eat the Source World, which is not only their food, but also a nutrient for their strength growth. There are also some special life forms in the Hunyuan space that, in order to conceive offspring, must consume the original energy of the Source World, and some may not be enough to swallow one. Fortunately, the infinite Hunyuan space actually has a cover mechanism for the Source World that was born within it. Even those ancient creatures find it difficult to discover a new source world. Except for the big world close to the innate Hunyuan population, those are all exposed source worlds. In the entire infinite primordial space, it is actually like a universe like nesting doll, with countless primordial worlds and some special worlds scattered like stars and planets in the universe. The exact number is unknown, and even though the primordial space has been out for a long time, it is not known how big, how big, or how many primordial worlds this infinite primordial space is. Even when reaching the realm of a lord, the perception range feels very large, but it is only a corner of the infinite source space. What's more, without a map, the speed of progress is very slow, and it takes a long time to explore an area. Infinite source space, what is infinity? That is the true infinity, where it ends, where it begins, where it has lived for countless years. The movable areas are still only a small part of it, and the vast majority are unknown. In the infinite Hunyuan space, it is indeed very special. The power of the space is very weak and not obvious. Even Hunyuan Lord, it is impossible to achieve large dot-scale teleportation. If it is not for the changes in the internal world that give us the power of space, it will be difficult to teleport. It is still very difficult for us to explore this space. Jean Chuan couldn't help but sigh as he listened. Luo Feng nodded, and upon hearing what Yuan and Jean Chuan said, he suddenly felt that difference. Yuan continued, it is precisely because of this limitation that the area of the Hunyuan space we can detect is not too large. Moreover, in the infinite Hunyuan space, not all lords are invincible. Many unknown places contain various unknown crises, and even at the Lord level, they dare not ignore these crises. Jean Chuan also said, We have detected the Hunyuan space, which is indeed in a very limited area. Many unknown areas contain many crises. Although Hunyuan lords from the source world have their own means of survival and are difficult to be killed by those at the same level, these unknown crises in Hunyuan space may cause Hunyuan lords to permanently sink or even fall. On the side of the innate Hunyuan life, there are Hunyuan ancestors who fall. 
Upon hearing this, Luo Feng's expression became much more solemn. No wonder he can feel many high dot level power fluctuations. In this chaotic and unknown space, I'm afraid Lord Hun Yuan is not the strongest. Just like those guys in the Eternal Land, he was shocked by the powerful aura of life he felt. The terrifying aura of blood far surpassed that of the Hun Yuan Lord who came out of the Source World. However, having strong qi in blood does not necessarily mean being strong. For example, Yuan and Jin Chuan may not have strong qi in blood, but they all rank among them which is enough to demonstrate the strength of their two elder brothers. Brother Yuan and Brother Chuan, I wonder if there is a higher realm above Lord Hun Yuan. Luo Feng thought for a moment and asked repeatedly. Jin Chuan looked at Yuan and gestured for him to speak. Yuan nodded and said, of course there are. The ancestors who were born with Hun Yuan life can also be considered as lords, but our strength is generally stronger than theirs. However, there are also those who are stronger than me, such as the first few sequences of the Eternal Land. As for the specific division, it should be divided into three levels. The first level, the second level, and the third level. In our space, the strongest level should be the second level, and I barely belong to this level. Tell me about the book settings, must read for both new and old book enthusiasts. 1. Most of this book is based on Swallowing Source World, which is not written very well, and the Hunyuan Space Chapter is written on this basis. Because when writing Swallowing Source World, I did not read Lord Snow Eagle or forgot the content inside, so I wrote Luo Feng as the third lord instead of the eighth lord, which may be different from Lord Snow Eagle. I also hope everyone can adapt to this as much as possible. 2. Regarding the settings inside, there may also be some conflicts with the content in Snow Eagle Lord, and we hope everyone can understand. 3. I will try my best to fit the Snow Eagle Lord, except that the order of the Lord has changed, it will gradually unfold later. 4. This book is all big chapters, but it is not very good for promotion, so there are relatively few readers at present. However, this one is a good one, so you can rest assured to read it. If you think it is possible, you can help promote it, vote for recommendations, have monthly tickets, and give some tips beyond your abilities. Of course, it is best. 5. Before joining VIP, we will temporarily have one shift per day from Monday to Monday, with a word count of over 4,000 words, and there will be two shifts on weekends. If we can join VIP, we will have two shifts per day. 6. Welcome new and old book enthusiasts to check in. Thank you all. I will do my best to write well and try not to disappoint everyone's expectations. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Realm. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Realm, the first realm, the second realm, the third realm. Luo Feng looked towards Yuan. Everyone who transcends the Source World is the Hun Yuan Lord, who is completely free from the rules of the Source World and even controls it in turn. The reason why Hun Yuan Lord is strong is because the power he possesses transcends the Source World and reaches the Hun Yuan level power of the Hun Yuan space. Yuan said. The power of the Hun Yuan space roughly has four levels. Semi Hun Yuan power, basic Hun Yuan power, top Hun Yuan power, and ultimate Hun Yuan power. Like the eternal Tao of the Knife that you control, you have understood the essence of the Tao of the Knife and directly elevated it to the top level of the power of the Hun Yuan space. Naturally, you have become a lord. However, the Tao has multiple levels, and the first one is the level of the Source World. This Tao is the Tao of the Source World, which exists in every Source World, and even if it reaches the top, it is only a half Hunyuan power. The second level is the Tao of the Hunyuan space. When you explore all the essence of the Tao of the Source world, you can reach the eternal Tao of the Hunyuan space level. In terms of power, the eternal Tao is stronger than the Tao of the Source world and belongs to the top Hunyuan power. The power of the flame top Hunyuan and the power of the eternal Tao of the blade are both among the top powers of the Hunyuan level. Do you think the eternal Tao of the blade is the end of power? 
Then you're wrong, this is just the beginning. The Blade Master's power is one of the greatest among all the Hunyuan Eternal Dao, which is your advantage, so your strength is also strong enough. There should still be a way to go up the Eternal Dao, but I don't know how to go. Returning to the Triple Realm mentioned earlier, the First Realm generally only grasps one basic Hunyuan level power, or in other words, grasps one Hunyuan top dot notch power. Underneath the basic Hunyuan power lies the semi Hunyuan level power, the Tao within the Source World, the bloodline power of the innate Hunyuan life, and so on. Like most innate Hunyuan life forms, as long as they can master the power of the semi Hunyuan, they can enter the Hunyuan space, which is equivalent to the supreme beings of the continent of origin. Furthermore, it is the innate ancestor of the Hunyuan, a special Hunyuan life form at the ancestor level. Some of them are born to be able to use the Hunyuan power within the Hunyuan space, while others gradually master the Hunyuan basic power. At this level, their power is naturally considered the first realm of the Lord level. Another thing is that the world.class Hunyuan life in the Source world is complete. As long as they can control the Source world, the Source world will also transform their bodies to reach the half-step Lord level, which is a level between the half Hunyuan power and the Hunyuan basic power. As long as they are within the Source world, with the help of the Source world power, their power can reach the most basic Hunyuan power level and also unleash the power of the Lord level first realm. Luo Feng, you master two types of Hunyuan powers. One is the most basic Hunyuan power, which is naturally possessed by your body after being transformed by the Hunyuan space power when you break through. The other power is the top power of the Hunyuan level, the Tao power. This part is the power you possess after understanding the essence of Tao power and deducing it into the eternal Tao, which is different from the power of those born Hunyuan ancestors. There is a power that is the pinnacle of the first realm, which is the pinnacle of Huanyuan's top dot notch power. Although the ancestors of Hunyuan did not have control over this power, they could still reach this level through some means. In the first realm, players like Jin Chuan and Luo Feng possess top dot notch abilities. With continuous exploration, your abilities can be elevated to the peak of the first realm, so you will be invited to become a member of the Eternal Land. The ancestors of the Eternal Land, who were born with a pure source, have excavated their bloodline power to the extreme and can easily exert their bloodline power to the top level of power. The weakest are all at the peak of the first realm. As for the second realm, it is a lord who masters two or more top dot notch Hunyuan powers. With more means, the combined use of power naturally leads to stronger strength. For example, I study multiple paths, and there are two that reach the eternal path, which can be considered as the second realm among lords. Among the innate primordial ancestors of the eternal land, there are a few who not only excavate their bloodline power to the extreme, but even derive other top dot notch powers through studying their bloodline. They can also master two or even more top dot notch powers, and some have reached the Lord's second realm. As for the third realm, I am not sure, but through my research and some traces of the Hunyuan space, I have found that the third realm should be related to the ultimate power of the Hunyuan space. As long as you control a trace of the ultimate power, you can be considered a Lord's third realm. However, currently in our Hunyuan space, there is no third realm. I have fought against those guys in the Eternal Land, and although the strongest ones can crush me, they still have no choice but to fight me. Of course, the heavenly ancestors seem unable to control the top power of the Eternal Tao, they can only exert their bloodline power. They want to achieve the third realm. Jing, it's basically impossible. Yuan spoke slowly. As the first lord to emerge from the source world, I have lived for an unknown amount of time now, and it can be considered as knowledgeable. Jin Chuan is far inferior to him. The power of the semi-turbid source, the power of the basic turbid source, the power of the top turbid source, and the power of the ultimate turbid source. Luo Feng was puzzled but nodded. The division of these four levels of power is relatively clear, and the power that can be unleashed by his Tao of Eternal Tao should be the top power among the Hunyuan forces. What is the ultimate power? 
Luo Feng pondered and asked. Yuan looked into the vast and chaotic space and said in a low voice, The ultimate power is just some of my speculations. I define it as the highest level of power. The top dot notch power we have, I have never been able to improve, but in this chaotic space, there are even more advanced powers, such as the power of flames. Jin Chuan has mastered the eternal way related to flames. However, in this chaotic space, there are also those with stronger flame power than Jin Chuan. This indicates that top dot notch power is still not the limit, only the ultimate can be the ultimate limit. Luo Feng could only nod as he listened. Yuan's explanation was just speculation, but no one can say for sure if there is a limit. The space is infinite, and the areas they can reach are only a part of here. There is also an infinite distance, even the old monster Yuan, who has been out for a long time, has not stepped out. The division of this realm by Yuan is also recognized by Luo Feng. Whether it is specific or not is not important, because any realm is divided for the purpose of differentiation. At this point, Luo Feng has gained a rough understanding of the basic situation within the infinite turbid space. From the most fundamental forces and rules in the infinite turbid space, to the source world, the innate turbid life group world, the special innate turbid life in the infinite turbid space, to the eternal land, and to some related realm divisions, I have probably gained a preliminary understanding in my heart. Nowadays, the entire infinite space is mostly occupied by the innate Hunyuan life group, or in other words, the main force of activity is still the innate Hunyuan life group, and they, also known as the masters of this space, often feed on the source world. Whenever they discover the source world, they will treat it as food and raise it. Every time they eat a little, the source world can self-repair, so it can also be considered a delicious food that repeats and eats more. Although Yuan's strength is very strong, they are also at an absolute disadvantage in the process of fighting, and they have not completely torn and fought for territory. Instead, they focus more on studying the power of Hunyuan itself. As for cultivating fellow travelers, it is purely a hobby, such as the free range of the origin continent, which is the best example. However, the successive appearances of Jin Chuan and Luo Feng still gave him hope. As long as more fellow travelers appeared and competed with these innate Hunyuan, it could still be achieved. At least, lords from the source world side should also have some say. The above are some basic contents of the Hunyuan space. In fact, there is a relationship between our source world and the innate Hunyuan world, which is the relationship between food and hunters. Countless source worlds are only the food of these innate Hunyuan ancestors, and even the lords who come out of our source world can be their food. When I first came out, I was the only cultivator on the side. Those ancestors who were born in the Hunyuan region all wanted to devour me, but unfortunately, my strength, even if I had just broken through and become a lord, was not something they could shake. Even those in the Eternal Land, when they found out that I was invited to join, had to admit my strength. After all, the camps were different, and then I had the idea of cultivating fellow travelers. Of course, I wasn't too deliberate, this was just my attempt. I once saw a scene where a natural ancestor of Hunyuan took action to devour a source world, which could be considered a disaster for the source world. After that time, I became even more determined in my idea of cultivating fellow travelers. Countless source worlds should be able to produce many fellow travelers. I have left behind some secrets and traditions in many source worlds, but unfortunately, I waited for you, Luo Feng. As for Jin Chuan, I didn't help him much. Now our three lords are much weaker overall compared to other forces in Hunyuan space. The infinite Hunyuan space, although our activity area is only a corner of it, is also complex and intricate. Born on the Hunyuan side, there are also many power zones. The current pattern should be two poles standing side by side, with multiple parties occupying and dividing up many areas. Yuan continued. Two poles standing side by side refer to two vast natural great worlds, which they claim to be the Great Primordial World and the Great Taisha World. The vast majority of the innate Hunyuan tribe live in these two great worlds. 
In addition to these two great worlds, there are also some relatively smaller worlds that have given birth to some naturally pure life, but cannot compete with the lives of these two great worlds. Surrounded by multiple factions, some special innate Hunyuan ancestors do not come from two major worlds, but are special species born in Hunyuan space, and are born at the level of Hunyuan lords. These living organisms, either alone or jointly occupying one side, form a pattern of multi-party occupation. In the Eternal Land, the special Hunyuan life ancestor can occupy eleven sequences, which indicates the terrifying strength of these guys. However, most special Hunyuan life forms are not as united as the innate Hunyuan clan. They spend their entire lives wandering in the Hunyuan space, without desires or demands, and there are more who walk alone. Some become sequences of eternal places, and because they are too tired of life, they wander towards the infinite Hunyuan space. Of course, some of the special origins of life also have a competitive relationship with the two major worlds, and there are contradictions between them. Whether it is the innate Hunyuan life side or some special innate Hunyuan life, they are all incredibly powerful. There are only three cultivation lords on the source world side now, which is too weak compared to these. In the past, there were only me and Yuan, and compared to them, they were indeed very weak, Jin Chuan nodded. However, now we have Luo Feng, a Hun Yuan lord who is skilled in killing and attacking. When the three of us join forces, our strength is not weak anymore. It is time to compete with these innate Hun Yuan ethnic groups. Perhaps we need to cultivate more fellow practitioners, and then we will have more opportunities to compete for some Hun Yuan space treasures. Yuan said slowly. Jin Chuan nodded. This is also some of the ideas of the Yuan dynasty. In the past, due to their weak strength, they dared not openly occupy the source world. Among countless source worlds, they would enter and arrange some inheritances, and then let these worlds rise and fall on their own. With these inheritances, the probability of giving birth to a lord is naturally higher. It is not easy to create a source world in the Hunyuan space. Once the location is leaked or the natural ancestors meet, this may be their nourishment. Once the source world is occupied by these natural ancestors or special Hunyuan life forms, or destroyed, the efforts cultivated will naturally be in vain. Jin Chuan shook his head. If we also occupy some of the source worlds and take good care of them, wouldn't the situation be better? The original ancestor of Hunyuan dared to take action and killed them directly, said Luo Feng. It is obvious that if the source world can receive better protection, the probability of giving birth to the Hunyuan lord will also be higher. Protection Yuan and Jin Chuan both looked at Luo Feng. Every source world is an ownerless thing, and of course, this is also their mutual understanding. Anyone can occupy it, and whoever has a hard fist is their own. However, the distance between the source world and the source world is extremely far, and whether it is me or the elemental thief, it takes a certain amount of time to reach the next source world. Although we can split our souls and gather a certain number of clones, the one who truly possesses the ability of the Hunyuan lord to crush these innate Hunyuan ancestors is our own. The other clones are weaker, Jin Chuan immediately shook his head and sighed. Once the source world is exposed, even if it is not the original ancestor of the innate Hunyuan, those innate Hunyuan creatures will find ways to infiltrate and enter. Foraging, assimilation, and soul cultivation are their routine operations. As our clones, entering it is suppressed by the source world itself, and even if we have the intention, we cannot manage it. There's no way, let's just do it. We're all adopting a free-range approach now, allowing these source worlds to thrive on their own. If we can give birth to our own lords, it would be best. If we can't, we can only afford to give birth to these turbid life forms. Jin Chuan is actually not like Yuan. Yuan is enthusiastic about investing resources to cultivate strong individuals, but he doesn't want to worry about such things. If it weren't for Yuan, and if it weren't for the disadvantage of practitioners, he probably wouldn't have the idea of cultivating fellow practitioners. Luo Feng nodded slightly. The Hunyuan Divine Realm, 
which originated from the mainland, was infiltrated by many Hunyuan life forms, such as He Tianxuan, or more precisely Tianyu, who wanted to become one of the lords by seizing and infiltrating. Moreover, it is very difficult for the source world to conceive a strong one. As for being bullied in the source world, it can only be said that there are too few lords on the cultivator side. No matter where they are, as long as their power is weak, they will always be bullied, and even destroyed. Even with Yuan now, countless source worlds seem to be just the delicacies of these innate ancestors of Hunyuan. Of course, the origin continent cannot be destroyed by them. After all, this is also the place where I rose up. Even if the innate Hunyuan life can penetrate, even if they have refined the source world, I can still kill it. Even if you don't break through, the future origin continent still doesn't belong to Tianyu, Yuan added. Luo Feng looked at Yuan, no wonder no one took action until the last moment. He remembered that there were subordinates arranged by the three elements in the origin continent, and with the strength of Elephant Wei, Elephant He, and Kanmu, it should be no problem to maintain the origin continent. After all, He Tianxuan, who was there, was just newly promoted to world.class perfection. All of this is to force him. If we don't force him, I'm afraid the world.class Hunyuan life is almost at his end. Yuan Lao Gu, Chuan Er Gu. Luo Feng looked at both of them, I think we should take more proactive measures. On the one hand, covert guidance is necessary, but we should also do our best to protect and occupy some of the source worlds. There are countless lives in a source world, and if all of them become delicacies in the stomachs of these innate primordial beings, I think it is our Lord's negligence. Perhaps the world that has been swallowed up is about to give birth to a Lord. Without our intervention, everything is likely to be in vain. Luo Feng has his own experience. He rose from the weak and deeply understands the fate of being a weak person. If possible, he certainly wants to help these weak people. During the Earth era, they may even be traded as slaves. In the universe, due to their weakness, they would be bullied by other ethnic groups. The Cosmic Sea and the Origin Continent, in fact, if he had taken a wrong step, it is very likely that everything today would not have happened. For these weak lives, perhaps they should also have the right to choose their own life and death. What you said is not without reason. This time, we also want to discuss this matter together. I hope we can unite to deal with the pressure from our natural race. Of course, if we can protect these weak source worlds, that's no problem. We can do our best and do our best. Yuan nodded. After all, my strength and influence are limited, and our current activity area is not very large. The impact only affects six source worlds, and only two have been included in the observation. This is also a world with great potential to give birth to lords. Now, with the addition of Luo Feng, we occupy some source worlds. When facing the Hunyuan ancestor, our confidence is also sufficient. Perhaps we can expand our influence territory and choose more source worlds. Yuan continued. Like the lord side, there are only these two lords, and the source world in the Hunyuan space does not belong to either side. If the two Hunyuan lords want to occupy it for themselves, the natural Hunyuan side will not agree. But their hunting ground and food, why should the two lords occupy it? This is unreasonable, after all, they are all ownerless things, and everyone has the power to own them. The key still depends on strength. You have strong strength, so it doesn't matter how many you occupy. However, if you have more, there will naturally be objections. Giving them a few is considered a sign of face. No matter how much, we may have to work together. Okay, let's follow the arrangements of the two brothers. The matter of the origin of the continent has almost been completed, and we can start our plan at any time. However, regarding cultivation, we may need the guidance of the two brothers. I also want to try my best to let the separated clones preserve their combat power, which will be more beneficial to us. Luo Feng now also feels that he can split up a clone at any time, but the strength of the clone is not strong, it can only be the strength of world.class Hunyuan life. 
With more clones, the strength of his master is even affected. Because we need to briefly introduce the Hunyuan space, we need to introduce more knowledge about the class. In addition, this does not fit the Snow Eagle Lord, treating Luo Feng as the third, not the eighth, and as for the rest, try to fit the Snow Eagle as much as possible. Remember to join the bookshelf and invest. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Transformation Origin Continent. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 3 Transformation Origin Continent After reaching the Hunyuan Lord, the soul reaches a state of great fullness and can be divided. Each part of the soul can condense into a body, and the combat power of the body is closely related to how much soul is divided. Moreover, the more clones there are, the fewer souls are divided, which means that the weaker the clone, the weaker the original. According to Luo Feng's feeling, it seems that he can condense countless clones, but he cannot guarantee the strength of the clones, and his true self will also be greatly weakened. Regarding clones, it does feel the same as you do. The soul of Lord Hunyuan has reached a perfect state, and dividing the soul can be done without harming the soul. However, division is also limited, one limitation is strength, and the other limitation is cognitive thinking. In theory, countless divisions can be made, but in this way, the strength of each clone is too weak. When encountering the innate ancestor of Hunyuan, it is seeking death. If they consume the soul, it is not worth the loss, and most importantly, it will affect comprehension. Yuan said. In order to ensure strength, it is generally best to gather ten clones, which can barely have the strength of the born Hunyuan ancestor. Encountering these born Hunyuan ancestors can save lives without any problem, and it will not have any impact on our understanding. Once this limit is exceeded, not only will our combat power be greatly weakened, but our understanding will also be affected. If the clones are eaten by the born Hunyuan ancestor's soul, it will not be worth the loss. Yuan continued. The soul is perfect, but if a part of the soul is missing, it means the soul is injured, and repairing it is also a troublesome thing. Jin Chuan also nodded slightly and said, of course, if we can integrate into other source worlds, we can easily have lord-level combat power. Unfortunately, the source world restricts other foreign life, and when we enter it, we will be suppressed to the strength of the chaos realm, without any strength advantage. Yuan Lao Thief once speculated that if we can reach an extreme level together with the soul, perhaps we can achieve this step, but it is too difficult and involves the soul, which is extremely complex. Luo Feng nodded. The two lords naturally have the right to speak. However, Luo Feng was somewhat surprised because even if he split into ten clones, without affecting his own master, the clones had no lord power, so his expression towards Xiang Yuan was somewhat puzzled. Don't worry. Yuan saw Luo Feng's confusion and said, if you could achieve strength comparable to that of a lord just by splitting your soul a little bit, it's naturally impossible. At most, you can unleash one or two moves, but this is not considered lord level strength. Of course, there are skills involved, and you should also know that the limited strength of a clone after the lord split is mainly due to the control of soul and power, as well as the limitations in the murky space. When the soul is weak, using the top power of the murky source is limited, and the clone's murky source power will also be limited. After all, if you want to split a body energy comparable to that of a lord, it is extremely terrifying, and the soul cannot control it. And this is too extreme, I'm afraid the rules don't allow it either. To achieve this step, you need to cultivate your clone, Yuan said. Splitting Cultivation Luo Feng was surprised. What is the difference between clone cultivation and master cultivation? A clone is also a part of master cultivation. If one strength is not reached, further cultivation will be in vain. This is the strength of Yuan Lao Thief, Jin Chuan laughed. He created a secret technique called Golden Soul, which can make the separated soul stronger under the influence of his own master, and ultimately make the clone's power comparable to those of the lower-born Hunyuan ancestors. This is a very abnormal secret technique. Of course, although this secret technique can enhance the soul of a clone, 
the number of clones that can be improved is also limited. 10 clones is the limit, and beyond this limit, the secret technique will be useless. In addition, because the soul of the Hunyuan Lord who came out of the Source World is perfect and cannot be further improved, even if the clones merge with the Master, it cannot improve the soul of the Master. Yuan felt somewhat regretful, this is also his pursuit direction. If the soul is further improved, his strength may still be enhanced. Moreover, if soul one achieves higher success, theoretically it should be able to integrate into other source worlds, which is why he gave up control of the continent of origin in order to pursue this step. Jin Chuan looked at Yuan. Although the old man was not very satisfied with this secret technique, in his opinion, it was enough to go against the heavens, after all, he could not research such a thing. What surprised Jin Chuan was that the old thief Yuan didn't pretend at this moment. Although we can no longer repay our master, this is already very powerful. Brother Yuan's infinite calamity is extremely mysterious, and I believe this golden soul, is even more mysterious, praised Luo Feng. Of course, but this thing can't be given to you for free. You need to exchange it for something, but considering that Luo Feng has just become a lord, I can teach you something first. When you have something good later, especially things like Biyuan Xinxuan and Huishang Sui, you must compensate me well. It took me a lot of effort to study this thing back then. Yuan He He smiled, as if it had changed again when he started preaching. Are you saying that, Brother Yuan? If you don't help me, I won't give you a drink, Luo Feng joked. This old man just likes to eat and drink, these are all easy to solve. Alas, after living for so long, who doesn't have any interests or hobbies? Hee hee, I like your personality, Xiao Luo Feng. It's not a waste of my efforts in the origin continent. Yuan he he smiled and then flipped his hand, revealing a pale golden hexagonal prism crystal. This is a memory crystal, and all the records about the golden soul are inside. When you cultivate your clone, we can find some source world to occupy our territory. At that time, the three of us can expand our influence. Luo Feng took the memory crystal and immediately thanked him. With this thing, he can also create ten clones that are comparable in strength to the born Hunyuan ancestor, but they also need to bear the responsibility of the source world side. After a brief conversation among the three lords, they asked Luo Feng to leave first. It was not easy to cultivate a clone. Watching Luo Feng leave, Yuan Weiwei nodded slightly. With the addition of a Hun Yuan lord, there was no need to be so frustrated in the future. Although his strength was also very strong, he had to endure the joint efforts of many ancestors born in Hun Yuan. Moreover, there were many others who were not weaker than him. Endless Hun Yuan space is just a natural food field for these natural ancestors. With the addition of Luo Feng, our lives will also be better, Jin Chuan said calmly. Yes, the eternal Tao of the blade. In terms of strength, once he completely masters it, it will be stronger than your extinction flame. In terms of attack methods, he may not be inferior to me. Yuan nodded. On the other side. When Luo Feng returned to his original continent, several years had already passed due to the different flow rates of time. The return of the giant axe has filled the regrets of the past for the elders of the human race. In the early days of the primitive universe, the contribution of the giant axe to the human race was indispensable. Without the original giant axe, there would have been no development of the later human race, and even Luo Feng may not have been possible. Everything about the human race is thriving and moving towards a better direction. Originating from the continent, the Hunyuan Divine Realm. Who? A wave of space. Time distortion. At this moment, suddenly, the supreme figures who were adventuring in the Chaos Abyss were moved directly to another time and space. When they reacted, they had already returned to the Hunyuan Divine Realm. What's going on? I'm not in the Chaos Abyss, how did I come back? A monster like Supreme felt a bit confused. At the same time, there were other supreme beings with the same expression as him who had just entered the Chaos Abyss. They had just entered and were unexpectedly moved out. 
the scene in front of them was naturally the Hunyuan Divine Realm. Buzz in vain, both the Origin Continent and the Hunyuan Divine Realm couldn't help but feel a slight wave coming, and the most obvious one was the Hunyuan Divine Realm. Here, endless chaotic air currents began to surge in vain. To be precise, this was not a surge, but gradually disappeared and transformed into world power, merging into time and space one by one. What the body can feel is that the space seems to be undergoing slight changes. What's going on? How could there be such a significant change in the Hunyuan Divine Realm? The Frost Lord, the Unmatched City Lord, the Laughing Sky, the Thousand Realms Venerable, Miao Qing, the Eight Harmony Supreme, Jushan, Mohun Mountain, Bolin, and others all appeared outside their respective cities, feeling the changes in time and space at this moment, and each one couldn't help but show a surprised expression. It should be the stars doing something that can cause such a big commotion, only he can do it, Jushan said slowly as he watched the temporal and spatial changes in the Hunyuan Divine Realm. No one else can do it except him, but it should be a good thing, said the Frost Lord. Even if such changes occur, no one is worried because the stars have already achieved the supreme position, and can be said to be the controllers of this world. The Lord. Except for Shikawa and Supreme Naman, everything else has been moved by him from the past time and space. This ability is probably not able to shake him, even the legendary Yuan who has been away for a long time may not be. Similar to the origin of the continent, there were faint fluctuations, and chaotic city lords, true Yenshin King, Yuan, and Huanxin from the human side of the chaotic land also appeared one by one in the mid-air. At this moment, the one who does all of this is naturally Luo Feng. The origin continent of the past has not been completely repaired, but has been separated into two places. The origin continent and the Hunyuan Divine Realm. These two places were originally one, but now they are completely integrated together, while also eliminating the chaotic airflow within the Hunyuan Divine Realm. This will also give birth to more places for the Hunyuan Divine Realm. Roaming and Rumbling These changes may seem gentle to the entire life of the Source World, but in Luo Feng's view, the entire origin continent is undergoing rapid changes. Firstly, the chaotic airflow in the Hunyuan Divine Realm is gradually being transformed into power within the Source World, constantly repairing the damaged time and space. Moreover, a large amount of energy is being controlled by Luo Feng to be transformed into the other side of the Heavenly God Realm. The originally stagnant and unchanging Heavenly God Realm Source space is condensed by the power of the Source, beginning to drive the evolution of the world. As the evolution continued, the boundary membrane between the Hunyuan Divine Realm and the Origin Continent began to show signs of melting, and the chaotic sky on this side gradually became clear and stable. In this transformation, between the two time and space realms, an immensely tall mountain appeared abruptly. The height of this mountain seemed to be the most terrifying existence between heaven and earth, standing like a pillar of heaven on the entire continent. At the top of the mountain, it faintly disappeared into the endless void, gradually disappearing, adding a touch of mystery to this highest peak. Nature is a primitive mountain, like a pillar supporting heaven and earth. At its peak, it can connect to the world's original ocean. Chaos Abyss Luo Feng turned his gaze to the Chaos Abyss, a passage that had once been forcefully blasted out by the ancient battleship Yuan Tian ship of the Hunyuan life and the source world itself was difficult to repair. Chaos life in the infinite Hunyuan space entered the origin continent through this passage, and even the Yuan Cheng Lord did not actively repair it. Instead, he regarded it as a window connecting the source world to the outside world. In Luo Feng's view, it must also be preserved, but it should also be transformed into another way. You can refer to the construction of the Star Tower world, Luo Feng quickly had an idea in his mind. In the entire chaotic abyss, relying on the model of the Star Tower, a nine-layer massive chaotic abyss world was directly constructed. From the source world outward and continuously deepening, it will become closer and closer to the infinite turbid space, and the chaotic airflow will become more and more terrifying. As for the far eastern ship of the turbid life, it was directly placed in one layer of the chaotic abyss. 
In such a chaotic abyss, not only can the people inside go out, but even some chaotic life in the chaotic space can enter the source world through it, albeit more orderly than in the past. After completing the rectification of the chaos abyss, Luo Feng's consciousness enveloped the entire world. The three thousand dimensions of the universe extend everywhere, which is the origin of the weakest life. The three thousand dimensions converge into a source continent, forming a more splendid culture. In addition, countless affiliated worlds are connected to the main continent. Although this main world is still somewhat monotonous, it is still considered good. The heavenly realm has undergone some evolution, and even if it is suppressed by the main continent, it is much larger than before, which can be considered another side of this source world. Luo Feng felt the changes in the entire source world. Over time, the original continent of origin has merged with the Hunyuan divine realm into one world, and the primitive mountains covered by the two realms have also rushed towards and appeared in the field of vision. However, the successive origins of the original world on top of the primitive mountains have been covered up by illusion. Except for Luo Feng, I'm afraid that if you want to contact them, you must be a truly recognized genius. However, as long as Luo Feng does not give up control of this source world, even if a perfect world. Class Hunyuan life is born again in the source world, he may receive gifts from the source, but he cannot integrate into the source. Finally, it took about a thousand years for the entire continent to be repaired and evolved in the way Luo Foam wanted. The preliminary prototype of the origin continent has been completed. Luo Foam is still satisfied with the restored source world. The entire world is not considered closed, which is also conducive to the birth of strong players in the source world itself. However, in the case of incomplete opening up, it also avoids too much crisis. At this time, on the continent of origin, all living beings can clearly feel the changes in the entire world, and compared to before, it has completely changed its appearance. More importantly, the primitive mountains that were hidden in ancient times have reappeared, which may be an opportunity for these creatures to change their own destiny. Countless encounters and treasures have also emerged, and the entire continent of origin will be plunged into a conflict of encounters. And these are just gifts given to all parties by Luo Feng Chu as the lord of the source world. A new lord is born, and the source world is naturally full of vitality. Origin Continent, Land of Chaos, Galactic Empire The current galactic empire still takes root here, and it has truly become a chaotic place, even a superpower in the continent of origin. In the entire continent of origin, there are actually not many who truly know the identity of Luo Feng. Only the group of supreme beings in the original Hunyuan divine realm know some, but for the chaotic land, they only know that the Milky Way is an extremely terrifying existence that has surpassed the divine king, making the galactic empire the most powerful and mysterious kingdom in the chaotic land. Of course, what shocked these chaotic divine kings the most was that over a thousand years ago, both the Duandong River and the Jin Kingdom, which had already fallen, came to life. All of this seems to be related to the Milky Way. After the Milky Way entered the return to the countryside, all those who died survived. In today's galactic empire, what appears to the outside world is no longer the Milky Way, but the chaotic city lord of the human race and the true Yen God King. These two represent the current country lord of the human race, and the Milky Way has long been hidden behind the scenes. The Lord of the Galaxy has become a legend in the chaotic land. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Giant Axe Reincarnation You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Giant Axe Reincarnation Starry City, the main hall of the human race At this time, many figures of the human race gathered here, including Luo Feng, Chaos City Lord, Zhen Yan, Yuan, Hong, Qingdong Void God, Penggong Void God, and Dark Void God. The original strong group of the human race were all here, and although a large part of them are not the strongest of the human race, they are still the oldest. Giant Axe, this time you want to reincarnate, we will not stop you, nor will we advise you. This is your best way, and I believe you will come back soon. 
Looking at Giant Axe, the previous Giant Axe gradually grew into a true god under his protection, but now it is still a true god. However, without a small universe, if you want to go further, perhaps Luo Fong can help, but it will also come at a certain cost, and the higher up, the less likely it is. The cost of reincarnation and retraining is much smaller, and it is also the best way for him to further grow. Giant Axe, I am waiting for you to come back here, looking forward to your eyes. The Chaos Lord smiled. Teacher, we are all here waiting for you to come back. Hong looked at the Giant Axe with a smile. The Giant Axe was his teacher. In the Primitive Universe era, although teaching was done by the Lord of Void Gold, many of his resources were given by this teacher. Without the Giant Axe, perhaps he would have to rise even slower. Now, he is already in the Holy Realm, Chaos Realm, and his strength is much stronger than that of the Giant Axe. Giant Axe Darkness, Qing Dong, Bing Feng, and others all looked at the Giant Axe. Teacher The disciples of the Giant Axes, such as the Void Gold, Void, and True God, also looked at the Giant Axes. Reincarnation is not about falling, so everyone is looking relaxed. At this moment, everyone present only has a blessing. Perhaps in the future, the foundation of the giant axe will be better than theirs, and their future achievements will not be lower than theirs. Luofong, please. The giant axe looked at Luofong. He could also use the technique of reincarnation himself, but there was a certain level of risk. With Luofong's assistance, there would be almost no risk, and he could even continue to cultivate the human race, which was exactly what he wanted. Small matter, we all look forward to your return, Luo Fong smiled slightly. Everyone has said everything they should, and there is nothing to be reluctant about. We just meet again after a while, and this time is not a problem for those present. When the giant axe regains its memory, it may already be a true god. Luo Fong looked at the giant axe with a smile on his face. It was obvious that he was ready. Luofong lightly tapped the center of the axe's brow with his finger, and for a moment, the aura on the axe had completely disappeared. No one noticed it, and an imperceptible wave broke through the air from the axe and disappeared into time and space. At this point, the giant axe is reincarnated. Of course, besides the giant axe, there are also many people among the human race who want to be reincarnated, but they dare not speak to Luofong. Firstly, they have not had contact for a long time, and secondly, Luo Feng's status is too transcendent. They want Luo Feng to help them with things, so they really don't know their identity. To reincarnate, one can only rely on oneself. The giant axe is just an exception, he can be considered a hero of humanity. At the foot of the vast primordial mountain, with the rebirth of the primordial mountain, a large number of lives have migrated here to take root and sprout. More and more life tribes have united and emerged here, and numerous adventurers have injected strong vitality into the cultivation here. Many tribes have begun to emerge with incredibly powerful cultivation systems. Among them, there is a place controlled by the Tianji tribe, where a group of humans migrate to survive. In the continent of origin, humans mainly gathered in the primordial plains and chaotic regions of the galactic empire, while others were relatively rare in scattered tribal distributions. Tianji tribe is a very weak tribe, with the strongest being only a void true god. Compared to some surrounding tribes, it is obviously in a disadvantaged position. Here, the strong tribe has an eternal god, and the void true god tribe can only rely on it to survive. In the Tianji tribe, a beautiful tribal castle, this is the core of the entire Tianji. Ancestral Hall the figure of an elderly man in a tall blue robe stood with his hands down, facing the altar enshrined in the ancestral hall, slightly lost in thought. Master A young man with a muscular appearance walked in barefoot. He looked tall and muscular, with explosive hair that looked quite fashionable. On his back, he also carried two huge stone axes, giving the impression of being very strong. Giant axe, you're here. The old man turned around and looked at the sturdy young man with a smile on his weathered face. 
The form of the old man is similar to that of this robust young man called the giant axe, belonging to the same ethnic group. The only difference is the marks on his face. The old man looks somewhat weathered, with deep and affectionate eyes. However, when he saw this young man, he couldn't help but show his love. You are the greatest genius of my Tianji tribe for thousands of years, the strongest presence among the younger generation, and even many old people have been surpassed by you. Although you are only the master of laws, your strength is only second to me and a few elders of the tribe. In the eyes of many people, in the future, you are destined to be my successor, the leader of the Tianji tribe, and will take over my position. However, now I have changed my mind. I hope you can leave the tribe and venture into the outside world. The world is infinite, and you can also see many scenery. The heavenly holding tribe, for you, is limiting. Aren't you most longing for those adventurers who pass by? I think, since you long for it, you should really do it, do everything you want to do. When you become strong enough to surpass the Star Clan Star Clan Eternal God, it's time for you to come back. The old man smiled at the giant axe. The giant axe is a genius who grew up from a very small branch. It is said that his name was chosen by himself, and he loved axes since childhood, showing extremely terrifying perseverance and cultivation talent. Starting from a baby who is equivalent to a domain master level, he has grown all the way to the current Lord of Laws. The time is too short for the entire Tianji tribe to have, and even the genius of the Starcraft tribe does not have such terrifying potential and talent. However, only he, as the leader, knows this most clearly. Such existence cannot be known by the outside world, otherwise it will definitely be erased and it will be difficult to grow. Now, it seems that with the rise of the giant axe, news about this genius has also been spread to the outside world. As long as it is known to the outside world that such latent talents cannot continue to grow in the Tianji tribe, otherwise, in the future, the threat will not only be to the surrounding tribes, but even stronger than the Xinjiang tribe, which will also be threatened. Therefore, some similar tribes around will also take action to wipe them out. The giant axe looked at the old master in confusion, not expecting that this time the master would let him leave here. Master, what are you asking me to leave for? Are you afraid of the Starry Skeleton Tribe, or the River Tribe, or the Thousand Prisoners Tribe? Giant Axe also thought of something. When he wanted to leave before, the tribes were strongly opposed, but now he has been asked to leave instead. The Lord of Laws may not have a significant impact on the tribe, but a young man with true divine power is enough to make them fearful and fearful. Our senior management has been hiding information about you from the outside world. Unfortunately, the battle you fought a few days ago has made the Starry Clan aware of your potential. We live in the tribe and are destined not to be able to produce absolute geniuses. Before you, many geniuses have been killed by the enemy. You are the true genius of our heavenly clan. In the history of our heavenly clan, there is no one like you. You will become their thorn in the eye, and even kill you at all costs. If you leave, open, this will be the best choice for you, and also the best choice for the Tianji tribe. The old man turned around and looked at the many spiritual tablets placed, all of which were the ancestors sacrificed by the Tianji tribe, and all of them died in the hands of the enemy tribe. He didn't want to see the giant axe suffer in such a situation, so he naturally chose to let the giant axe leave. The eternal star god of the star clan was actually not the leader of the tribe many years ago. It is said that he grew up by chance after following a wandering adventurer away. When he returned, he became the eternal god and ruled this vast area. It is difficult for us to become truly strong by practicing alone, while adventurers have more experiences and opportunities. As long as we can grow up, the probability of becoming strong naturally increases. Eternal god is nothing, the outside world is full of crises, but it also comes with opportunities. Anything, risk, and opportunity coexist. However, this time, you must leave, which is also a common decision of our Presbyterian Council. If you stay in the tribe, there will only be a greater crisis. The tribe can bear such disaster risks, 
but we cannot lose you. You are the hope of our stubborn people. The old man turned to look at the giant axe, and his persuasive tone gradually became like an order. The giant axe pondered for a while before nodding heavily, okay, I'll leave. He certainly knows the pros and cons of the matter. Since ancient times, there have been too many incidents of tribes assassinating enemy geniuses, and their growth has been almost completely hidden. If it weren't for these elders hiding, they might not have been able to become the masters of the law and reach the level of being comparable to true gods. Well, it's not too late. You can leave now. I've already told them about your family, and they should have seen you before. You don't need to say goodbye to them anymore. I don't want more people to know about your departure, after all, it's about your life's safety. The old man nodded. The giant axe couldn't help but suddenly realize that his father and mother's expressions and behavior were somewhat different today. It turned out that they were saying goodbye to him. However, anyway, he will leave a divine power incarnation here, as long as it is not falling, he can meet his parents, and missing him will not be a problem. Quickly, the old man quietly left the ancestral hall with a giant axe, and no one knew even the direction he was heading. Even some spies arranged by other tribes in Tianji were not given a chance to notice that the leader had personally delivered the giant axe. It was difficult to know whether the leader had left, even the true god. There are many things to do today, and there aren't many manuscripts left for the new book, so it won't be written very quickly. If you're interested, you can take care of it first. I'm also afraid I won't be able to write it well, end of this chapter. Chapter 5 Eternal Sequence Order You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Eternal Sequence Order Originating from the original space of the continent, Luo Feng's tightly closed eyes suddenly opened up, with a flashing blade in his eyes. The first clone has finally been refined. At this point, the body within the original space is just a clone separated from his own soul. If only a trace of the soul is separated, the condensed clone strength can actually rival the average world.class Hunyuan life. However, it is impossible to achieve the strength of the innate Hunyuan ancestor. Under the limitations of the rules, it would be too incredible if all the clones could have such strength. However, through the cultivation of the golden soul, this first separated clone has achieved a strength of one or two times that of the original master. Although Luo Feng does not know the strength of these innate Hunyuan ancestors, according to Yuan and Jin Chuan, it should be possible to rival those weaker innate Hunyuan ancestors. Being able to possess such strength, even in the face of those innate ancestors, as long as they are not among the top, there should be no problem dealing with them. This is a terrifying strength, after all, the soul separated from this clone is actually very few. Being able to achieve this step with a trace of soul is enough to demonstrate the power of golden soul. Moreover, it took a long time for Luo Feng to practice it, and from the perspective of mysticism, this secret technique is not simple. It's time to go find Brother Yuan and the others. Luo Feng's clone instantly disappeared into the original space. Following closely, in the original space, another clone emerged, which was just condensed. As for the clone that has already been cultivated and formed, it instantly appears outside the source world. Hmm. Luo Feng looked ahead, where a figure stood with hands and feet, and a golden tail behind him. His whole body was covered in a fiery golden color, with a fiery red carapace on his head and a row of colorful feathers on top. His appearance looked pure and bright. Unlike his body color, he had a pair of black hole-like pupils, which were incredibly deep. He appears, if viewed as a whole, to have a sense of beauty. This guy seems to have been outside the origin continent source world, but Luo Feng did not notice him, which made Luo Feng feel wary. When I first broke through, I could feel a terrifying aura, but now I really haven't noticed this guy. It's very eerie. Lord Luo Feng. This figure seemed to be smiling, with no malicious expression. I come from the Eternal Land and am an envoy of the Eternal Land. You can call me, June. This time, I am inviting Lord Luo Feng to the Eternal Land. 
according to the rules, those who have reached this step from the weakest life are eligible to attend. Lord Luo Fong will be the nineteenth eternal sequence in this area. The envoys of the eternal land, are you all in this area? Luo Fong was surprised. Luo Fong looked at this guy, and the eternal land was a very mysterious existence in this turbid space. Even Yuan, I don't know why it exists now. From the past to the present, it is unknown how long it has existed, but its origin is unknown even to those present. It's already the nineteenth time since the first attendance, is it possible that Chengdu was not invited? Are you invited first before you can gain recognition from those guys? And, Jun, refers to this area, doesn't it mean the entire Hunyuan space? Is there any other eternal place in the entire Hunyuan space? Yes, even Yuan doesn't know how big the Hunyuan space is, no one dares to say the entire Hunyuan space. What do I need to do to attend the eternal land? Luo Feng asked. You don't need to do anything. Attending the eternal land is a symbol of strength and status, and being able to be among them is beneficial for your future. Your breath is imprinted on the eternal land, echoing the eternal way. One day in the future, this will be helpful for your enlightenment of the way, June said with a smile. One day in the future. Will it be helpful for understanding the eternal way? Luo Feng pondered. Suddenly, I thought to myself, the Tao at the Hunyuan level is all called the Eternal Tao. Could it be related to this eternal land? However, on second thought, this should also be realized. If it had not been discovered so far, perhaps all of this would not have been so simple. Not bad, you will feel it when you reach a certain level. This is a sequence order, Lord Luo Feng, please keep it. Jun said as a golden crystal flew out of his hand, emitting a golden halo. Luo Feng took the crystal stone and carefully felt it. This crystal stone has multiple facets. Just counting it, there are a total of 10,081 different facets. However, miraculously, among these 10,081 facets, they are not fully presented in one space. Time. This corresponds to the Hunyuan space, which has 10,081 spatial dimensions. If viewed as a three-dot dimensional spacetime, it is actually a dodecahedral prism, but these faces are connected to each other and can be mapped to other different spacetimes. The crystal itself is not surrounded by a single side of time and space. In every aspect, there is an ancient script that does not originate from mainland China. Luo Feng does not recognize it at all, but he knows its meaning. 19. This represents the 19th sequence of the Eternal Land. Lord Luo Feng, with the sequence order, you can freely enter and exit the Eternal Land. You can now enter and attend at any time. The seat of attendance has been generated, and as long as you imprint your breath, it is considered complete. June smiled and said, I will leave first, looking forward to meeting you again. As he spoke, June's figure directly transformed into a boundless force and then disappeared. What means is this? Luo Feng was shocked. He could feel that this guy didn't feel teleportation because there was no force in time and space to move him. It was more like disappearing directly in place and unable to find its direction, like a clone. However, the means of a clone made Luo Feng unable to notice it. This guy seemed a bit terrifying. Eternal Land Messenger, June. Luo Feng deeply remembered the name, and neither Yuan nor Jin Chuan mentioned this guy. However, Luo Feng felt that this guy seemed very mysterious and should also be very powerful. Since neither Yuan nor Jin Chuan mentioned him, perhaps he is just a special existence, and it is related to the Eternal Land. Luo Feng thought to himself and shook his head. If he could know this secret, perhaps it would be revealed in the future. What he needs to do now is to discuss with Yuan and Jin Chuan on how to divide the territory of the Source world. At this moment, in a large meteorite world not far from the origin continent, Yuan and Jin Chuan had been waiting here for a long time. There was a huge stone table with wine and spirit fruits placed on it. 
With the help of the power of time and space in the source world, Luo Feng's idea appeared in the meteorite world. The size of this meteorite is completely comparable to the size of a cosmic sea in the 3000 dimensions of its origin continent. However, it is impossible to give birth to life here. In the Hunyuan space, such meteorites are very common and have a larger number than in the source world. The first clone, it seems that you have already cultivated the golden soul, much faster than Xiao Chuanzi, Yuan said with a smile. Luo Feng has practiced secret techniques involving genes and souls such as Infinite Calamity and Yentian Road for a long time, and your golden soul shares similarities with these two secret techniques. It's not normal for him to practice faster. Jin Chuan was speechless, and this old thief always liked to humiliate Luo Feng. Luo Feng studied and practiced Wuyang Jia and Yentian Road in the continent of origin, and his spiritual expertise was already very high, which is consistent with Golden Soul. It is relatively easy and normal to cultivate. Although he also practiced in Jinchuan during his lord's time, he spent more than twice as much time as Luo Feng. He now realizes that in the future, his attack methods are not as good as Luo Feng, and even the cultivation speed of Golden Soul is not as fast as Luo Feng. Yuan always likes to mock him now. There's no way, the Eternal Tao related to flames is not as powerful as the Sword Tao of the head of 10,000 soldiers in terms of killing power. However, it's not weak either, at least in refining weapons, it has an innate advantage. I just casually said, what's your hurry? Yuan Yi stared. Luo Feng couldn't help but chuckle as he listened to the two of them. I won't tell you, Luo Feng. You should have received the eternal sequence order just now, right? Jin Chuan said. Yuan immediately looked at Luo Feng, his expression similar to that of Sichuan Opera, and his playful expression became more formal. You should have seen him just now, didn't you feel very mysterious about the envoy of the eternal land, Jun? Dot. If we were to say who the most mysterious guy in this chaotic space is, it would be none other than the envoy from the non-eternal land, Jun. Except for the invitation, Yuan could not find him no matter how he searched for his whereabouts, even the old guys who had lived for a long time. I haven't seen him since I was invited. And he will go see new sequencers, but unfortunately he won't appear when others are present. It's very mysterious. I remember when I first broke through, I was able to use the power of the Hunyuan space to feel the position of those guys, even those sitting in the Eternal Land. However, it seems that I never felt him. It was just my first time seeing him, and he gave me a sequence order, said Luo Feng. We have only seen him when we were invited, and at other times, not only me and the old thief Yuan, but even the natural ancestor of the Eternal Land, have only seen him once. Once you enter the Eternal Land, you will never see him, Jin Chuan pondered and said slowly. Have you never seen him again since you were invited? Luo Feng was surprised. Didn't you guess that I had seen him? You should have felt him, right? Luo Feng asked again. It's different from what you thought. Yuan shook his head and said, the reason he knew you had met him was because the Eternal Sequence Order of the Eternal Land. Only when a new sequence order is born, will there be an induction. You probably haven't entered the eternal land yet. After your breath imprints it, you will know that this eternal sequence order is there, which can sense each other's existence. However, you can rest assured that it won't expose its position, just know that each other exists and is still alive. At the same time, as he flipped his hand, a golden polyhedral prism also appeared in his hand. He told me that the Eternal Land is related to the Eternal Tao, and I don't know if this is true or false. Luo Feng asked. Yuan and Jinchuan had more experiences, and if we could understand, we should be able to speculate and understand by now. It may be true, or it may be false. In the Eternal Land, it remains unchanged throughout history and is almost indestructible. Even the full force of those old guys' attacks cannot damage it at all. You should know that a place where even the Lord level is completely suppressed is not easy for anyone. It contains many secrets in the infinite source space, 
but it is difficult to understand it. My sequence order is ranked 9th, and the first few guys have existed for a long time, but unfortunately they cannot decipher the secrets of the Eternal Land. Yuan shook his head and smiled. Jin Chuan also nodded slightly and said, Luo Feng, when you enter it, you will know the special inside. After rushing out of the Source world for so long, the Eternal Land is the most mysterious place I have ever seen. All right, let's not talk about the Eternal Land. Now let's take a look at our influence area. What we need to do most now is to manage the several source worlds we occupy, so that we can quickly form a force to confront the innate Hunyuan. Yuan's gaze turned to the vast and infinite Hunyuan space. Luo Feng and Jin Chuan also looked at this mysterious and unknown time and space. Before you came out, it was only me and Jin Chuan, the two primordial world Hunyuan lords, who had a natural Hunyuan race and special innate Hunyuan life. We were far behind them. Jin Chuan and I were centered around the two primordial worlds, and the six primordial worlds radiating from the middle and surrounding areas were designated as our territories. Over time, we treated these six primordial worlds as territories of influence, with two of them included in our observation. Let's go and see Jin Chuan's hometown first. Yuan said, looking at Jin Chuan. Let's go then. Jin Chuan nodded slightly and immediately had an idea. The power enveloped Luo Feng and Yuan, and as they reappeared, a vast area appeared, countless trillions of light dot years away from the origin continent. Following closely and continuously, they appear in different areas each time. It's not that the Hunyuan space is very dangerous, we just teleport like this. Luo Feng was surprised. We have a map here, and at every teleportation point, we have made divine power markings. Naturally, we dare to do so. If it is an unfamiliar area and we want to move forward, at most we need to teleport in a small area, and more importantly, we have to rely on flying. Yuan explained with a smile. Luo Feng suddenly realized. They have been out for a long time now, and this area is basically familiar, so they naturally dare to do so. The distance from the origin continent to Xiaquanzi's hometown is not too close, even if it is teleportation, it will take some time to reach, Yuan explained. The three lords kept moving forward. It took more than three years of uninterrupted teleportation to stop. Every lord, relying on the power of time and space bestowed by the source world itself and the inner world, can teleport even without controlling the power of time and space in the infinite source space. However, the distance of each teleportation, if measured in light years, cannot be measured in trillions. It can be seen from this that the distance from the origin continent to the present day is no longer known. However, this distance is only a small part of the vast and chaotic space. Moreover, if you want to teleport forward, you need to have coordinate markers. If you teleport without coordinates, you may fall into an irreversible situation. In the past three years, Jin Chuan has been able to achieve continuous teleportation because it has a specific map and divine power symbols of this area, which is why it dares to do so. Here we are. Jin Chuan spoke, and in front of them was a huge turbid space called a celestial body. Its appearance was similar to that of the origin continent, with a white and pale golden luster. The space-time here was like a collapse and distortion, and a large amount of chaotic matter transformed into its own power through the surface of the source world to maintain its operation. This celestial body looks more complete and looks younger, with a slightly richer gold color than the origin continent. However, in terms of size, it seems to be slightly smaller than the origin continent. The atmosphere of flames within the entire world is very strong, like a scorching golden fireball. This is Chuan Air Ge's hometown. The strong power of fireworks, Luo Feng exclaimed. This is just the outside, the inside is the same as the normal source world, because I have achieved the top dot notch power related to fireworks, and the characteristics that appear in the outside of the world have been modified by me. Of course, the internal power related to flames will also be more active. Jin Chuan explained. Yuan also nodded slightly and said, in the past, 
I gave up control over the continent of origin, so there were too many traces of me inside. But it's Luo Fong, the influence of the eternal Tao of the sword, that can construct a Wudao school mainly based on the heart of ten thousand soldiers. The Wudao school should be easier to break the law with force, which is easier than starting from physical constraints. Luo Fong naturally understood that the Hunyuan lord, who had broken through the shackles of life with the power of his sword, was actually a path, and it was a speculation of the Yuan dynasty, confirmed by Luo Fong. The three lords all turned their heads and looked towards the direction of their origin continent. There was a distant distance between the two. According to Luo Feng's perception of the distance with his master, it was unknown how many trillion light years it was in terms of trillions of light years alone. However, this distance was not significant in the vast and infinite space of the Hunyuan source. Calculating spatial distance in the Hunyuan space seemed to have lost its meaning. Thank you, Teacher Tony, for giving me the reward with Hongguang like a knife, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 Meteorite Mountains You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Meteorite Mountains, Between the Continent of Origin and the Golden Fire World with this axis radiating within tens of millions of heavenly mixing units, it is considered the influence area we have designated. Now we should expand, Yuan said. The heavenly mixing unit is a unit of measurement for the length of the Hunyuan space, representing approximately the distance traveled by a Hunyuan lord under full force for a year. It should be noted that even if the Hunyuan lord does not teleport, his flight speed alone can reach millions or even billions of times the speed of light. The distance traveled in a year is a very exaggerated distance. Millions of days of mixed units demonstrate the vastness of this range. However, although it is a mixed unit of millions of days, this is still only a small part of the Hunyuan space, and even within the Hunyuan space dot time they can feel, it is only a very small area. There are not many source worlds scattered throughout this area, only about ten have been explored, of which only six are occupied by the Yuan and their followers, and only two are the key ones to focus on. Nowadays, the three Han Yuan lords can choose another source world as a benchmark to expand the influence of the source world side. Let's take the Void Realm in the direction of the Eternal Land as a starting point, and expand it outward by ten million heavenly mixed units to determine our territory influence range. The distance here should be enough, and there are many source worlds in it, which will be enough for us to choose. Yuan looked at the Hunyuan void and said again. Jin Chuan, lead the way. There should be a clone of you in the void realm. Yuan looked at Jin Chuan again. Jin Chuan had no choice but to do all the work on his way, but he still nodded. The matter of cultivating fellow travelers may not have felt much in the past, but he still cares a lot now. Continuing on the journey with another lord, heading from here to the Void Realm, with a marked map, teleportation alone takes more than four years, mainly requiring a lot of strength. It took nearly five years to finally see a large irregular celestial body with a silver tint. The volume of this large celestial body seems to be even larger than that of the Golden Fire World, and it has emerged with spatial power. The spatio-temporal force possessed by this source world is extremely powerful, seemingly stronger than other source worlds, which is quite unique. This void world is one of the source worlds that we pay close attention to. The power of time and space inside is very strong. If a lord can be nurtured, it should be biased towards the aspect of time and space. The power of time and space in the turbid source space is obscure. If someone can be skilled in the power of time and space, it should be a great help for us, Yuan sighed. There is a little guy named Xingmang who has great talent. In my attention, he is the most talented one in the void world, and his perseverance is also top dot notch. If he can become a lord, he should have a certain chance in the distant future. Moreover, he is walking the path related to time and space, which happens to be in line with this world, Jin Chuan smiled. You mentioned this little guy to me last time. He should have reached the level of the holy realm of the origin continent by now. It's still early, and there's still a long way to go before he wants to become a lord. Let's wait slowly. 
I hope he can really bring us a little surprise. Yuan nodded slightly. For the period of Luo Feng, he didn't actually do it too deliberately. What he didn't expect was that Luo Feng became his biggest surprise. Luo Feng first learned about this guy named Xingmeng, but compared to this Xingmeng, his growth was relatively less noticed. After all, even Yuan, an old guy, thought his growth was unexpected. For a moment, an inexplicable jealousy surged in his heart. You two guys, fortunately I, Luo Feng, have the ability. It seems that until I became the Lord, I had never seen you before. It seems that you are really biased, Luo Feng said with some surprise. You kid, don't you deny the credit of Yuan Lao Gu, such as Li Yuan Shu, Silence of Heaven and Earth, Infinite Calamity, One Dream of Deathly Silence, and The Road to Yentian, all of which were not left for you by me. Your kid actually said he didn't pay attention to you. Yuan widened his eyes and immediately wrote an unhappy expression on his face. Jin Chuan on the side couldn't help but laugh. Okay, old thief Yuan, I still don't know your urinary habits. It's mainly up to Luo Feng himself. Your path to heaven is already a fragmented chapter, and Luo Feng was just a guinea pig you experimented with. It's okay now, but if it doesn't work out, there won't be Luo Feng now. Jin Chuan obviously couldn't stand Yuan's kind of credit taking nature, and he can only fight back once. Besides, Yuan never forgot to criticize Luo Feng. Let's take a look at the choice of territory. With this vast void world expanding outward by a distance of 10 million days, there should be about 10 source worlds included, which should be enough to spread our influence within this range. To prevent Yuan from attacking him again, Jin Chuan quickly shifted the topic back and looked at the vast Hunyuan void. Yuan Bai glanced at this Jin Chuan and took advantage of it before shifting his attention. However, he doesn't mind. But with a serious expression, he said, these source worlds were born in a vast and chaotic space, without any territorial distinction. They are all unowned lands. We previously occupied six of them, claiming to be our own territory internally but only an influence area externally. However, all of this has already aroused dissatisfaction from some naturally chaotic life forms. This time, we have occupied another group. If they see us, we may not be able to sit still, and friction and violence are possible. We also need to be fully prepared, and even do not rule out those who have the eternal land taking action. Yuan was right, Jin Chuan nodded. In fact, the two of them, combined with clones, have a total of 22 bodies with the combat power of the innate Hunyuan Lord. However, the two dare not go too far. If these innate Hunyuan are pushed too hard and combined, they have no room for survival. Although clones have the power of being born at the bottom of the Hunyuan Lord, when it comes to taking action, their strength is far inferior to those of these born Hunyuan ancestors, let alone the top ones. Only the main battle master has the power to confront these born Hunyuan ancestors, and even if faced with the land of eternal eternal eternity, they have to unite as clones. Now their three lords from the source world are joining forces to occupy a large territory, which is of course not allowed for these born Hunyuan, after all, these public resources are taken over for themselves, and it is not in accordance with the rules. Even conflicts are possible. So, it can only be said to be an impact and observation area to the outside world. We have only three Hunyuan lords in our source world, but their innate Hunyuan ancestors have over a hundred. Coupled with those other innate special lives, they hold much more seats in the eternal land than us. Our source world cultivators are still too weak, even far apart. If we compete, we will still suffer, Jin Chuan continued. Luo Feng nodded, these guys are indeed potential crises. At this time, everyone is wandering in the muddy space, and those are public resources, and no one can say they belong directly to anyone. After all, consensus is naturally born, and ultimately, one must rely on strength to speak. Without strength, occupying them can be a dangerous thing. 
As before, Yuan and Jin Chuan only incorporated several source worlds into their own cultivation scope under the guise of influence. If they truly declared this as their own territory to the outside world, there would probably be innate dissatisfaction from Yuan and Jin Chuan, and conflicts would inevitably arise. At present, all they can do is to unleash their influence and exert pressure on individual innate and ancestral level powerhouses through their powerful abilities. If you want to declare the founding of the country, you may just find yourself unhappy. Let's search separately. First, let's take a look at which source worlds are suitable in this area. In my impression, there should be three source worlds in this area. These are some markers I made in the past. The golden dots represent a source world, while the silver ones are some teleportable spatial markers. You can take a look, Yuan said. As he waved his hand, a multidimensional spatio-temporal map appeared in the space. This is a star map of the Hunyuan space position model constructed by divine power. In Hunyuan space, it is generally used to construct and outline the map in this way. Hunyuan space is not a three-dot dimensional space, but a multi-dot dimensional space. Therefore, if there are no sensing markers on the way, one will get lost. Luo Feng and Jin Chuan looked at the relatively simple map images and immediately confirmed the general location of the source world in this area. However, it also marked three source worlds, indicating that most of the area in this area is an unknown area that needs to be explored. If there is no star map, it is actually difficult to find a source world. When you first break through the Hunyuan Lord, your body will be transformed by the Hunyuan power. At this time, your life breath is most obvious and your perception ability is also strongest. However, after returning to normal, you cannot clearly perceive the existence of these source worlds. This is also some protection provided by the supreme rules of Hunyuan space. If the lords all have this strength, it is inevitable that these source worlds will become food for these innate ancestors. Remember, don't teleport without spatial coordinates. The eerie and terrifying nature of the chaotic space can trap even the Lord in some places, and there may even be places where the Lord can fall. Yuan reminded, also, remember to leave divine power symbols in certain areas and mark them on the star map when passing by. Luo Feng and Jin Chuan nodded and glanced at each other, as they headed towards different directions in time and space. Previously, Jin Chuan was extremely familiar with this Hunyuan space and had divine power markings, which allowed him to teleport freely. However, for Luo Feng, he did not dare to teleport recklessly, unless it was in the coordinate areas marked by the element. Within these areas, there would be no problem with teleportation over short distances. After separating from the two older brothers, Luo Feng's body came into a vast and chaotic space. Here, Luo Feng can sense the origin continent of his true self through his senses, but the two have already arrived at an infinitely distant location. This Hunyuan space is really eerie, I feel trapped in a space cocoon, Luo Feng sighed. This is just a clone, and his combat power is far inferior to his true self. Of course, he is even more cautious. After flying and teleporting for nearly eleven years, Luo Feng finally arrived at the location marked with a source world, where the spatial layer was confined and eventually collapsed. Universal Unity gave birth to a massive source world, which was a greenish-green world. Under the dim light, the entire source world looked like a turquoise celestial body. This source world is really unique, exuding a strong vitality that looks complete. Luo Feng smiled and immediately made his clone leave a divine incarnation here. When he came next time, he could teleport directly through the induction of the divine incarnation. He is not in a hurry to enter now, mainly exploring. When the newly split clone arrives, he can directly follow the divine power clone. This source world should be the closest one, and I won't go to the remaining two. My current task is to explore the situation of the source world in this region. Three source worlds, Luo Feng, Yuan, and Jin Chuan went to mark each other, leaving vast unknown areas blank. To find the source world within them, one can only rely on their own luck, and it may take a lot of time to discover one. 
When Luo Feng was familiar with the Hunyuan space and rushed to an unknown area, he could only advance by flying. All maps are so slow, if it's an unknown area, it's probably even slower, Luo Feng muttered. Jin Chuan brought him here from the continent of origin in less than nine years, but it took him over eleven years to find it himself. Moreover, this is the closest map provided by Yuan, and the rest may take even longer. Now Luo Feng finally understands that exploring the Hunyuan space is not an easy task. Even if there is a star map, it is so slow. Without a star map, it may take a long time to find a source world, after all, most still have to fly slowly. Flying is much slower than teleportation. Luo Feng flew in the Hunyuan space, which was his first truly meaningful exploration into the Hunyuan space. The space was filled with powerful chaotic substances. Apart from chaotic substances and meteorites, there were also some radiation forces from the Hunyuan space. These forces were very strong. If it weren't for the Lord Level or Hunyuan life, which was naturally adapted to Hunyuan space, it would be impossible to resist these forces for a long time. Thirty years later. Hmm. Luo Feng felt a large meteorite world in front of him, like a large mountain range. As a teleportation approached, he immediately felt the fluctuation of numerous life breath, including an exceptionally strong breath, which was clearly a Lord Level existence. This meteorite world is actually a huge mountain range, which is half the size of a source world. If this is a meteorite fragment, it should be considered a super large continental fragment. Moreover, the fragments of such specifications can only be the traces left after the fragmentation of some super great worlds that are comparable to the primordial world and the initial great world. Those who live on it have and can only be born as primordial beings. For example, Many chaotic life forms that invade the continent of origin actually come from the Hunyuan space, some drift along with some continents, some follow strong ones, and a small number of life forms that actively enter the Hunyuan space and wander. Life in the source world, even if cultivated to the level of Hunyuan life, is rarely produced. Luofeng teleported and arrived directly outside the world boundary of this massive meteorite mountain range. And his Luo Feng's breath was clearly detected by the powerful life form inside, and suddenly appeared directly from the inside outside of the mountain world. A figure condensed, this is a giant of immense size, with a peculiar appearance, like a small version carved out of a mountain range in the inner world. However, even the small version is much larger in size than Luo Feng, and has a strong momentum. Are you the new lord? He looked slightly excited. Update one chapter every day and try to keep it at least 4,000 words, as the other one needs to be updated and cannot be written as much. The update time is usually before midnight. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Conflict You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Conflict Luo Feng looked at this guy, how could he feel an inexplicable sense of excitement from this big guy? What's going on? You seem to be very interested in me, Luo Feng said. The words on both sides were not clear, but the thoughts emanating from them could understand each other's meaning. Interesting, I heard that you, who have grown up from a young age, are all magical. I am curious about you and don't know how your strength compares to the previous two. This guy, like a big mountain, smiled rather than smiled, his whole body shaking as he spoke and his gaze at Luo Feng clearly showed a hint of provocation. No way, there are only two lords coming out of the source world now. Who knows how these lords are? It is said that both have been invited to enter the Eternal Land, but this newcomer seems to have not heard the news yet, and he has not yet entered the Eternal Land, so naturally he does not know him. What? You want to give it a try? Luo Feng immediately became alert. This guy's life aura is particularly strong, and it seems that he belongs to a special Hunyuan life form in the innate Hunyuan ancestor level, rather than coming from those big worlds. These special Hunyuan creatures are stronger than the ancestors of those born Hunyuan ethnic groups, and even these born Hunyuan ethnic groups do not want to provoke them. 
At present, this guy seems to be very interested in himself. You guessed it right. The special ancestor of Hunyuan, who looked like a big mountain, grinned. At the same time, the surrounding Hunyuan spacetime seemed to be trapped in a huge gravitational field, and there was a surging force, as if it was some kind of domain force. The force surged towards Luo Feng's body, and he stared closely at Luo Feng with a loud voice. Remember my name, my name is Agaristo. Luo Feng's expression was serious with a hint of anger. This guy named Agaristo was always ready to take action, and it seemed that he was not a good person. The key is that now I am just a clone, and in terms of strength, I am not even 20% of my true self. Moreover, there are no treasures carried on the clone, and the main items such as the Star Tower are on the Master. His current strength is indeed very weak. If you can't beat it, run away, Luo Feng said to himself. It's normal for a clone to not be able to defeat a special-born Hunyuan ancestor, but the main thing is that this clone has nothing and can't fight him with his head. At the same time, Luo Feng's thoughts merged into the endless chaotic void, interspersed with the realm of Agaristo. Countless sword intent powers condensed into shape, which were truly the top-dot-notch source of power. The fusion of countless powers formed Luo Feng's sword intent world realm. With just one thought, the knife becomes the world. Although the power that a clone can mobilize may not be the strongest, there should be no problem in saving life. Luo Feng felt that he was in a disadvantaged position, mainly because the soul power of the clone was not strong. In addition, relying solely on the perception of the eternal Tao of the sword, the power that can be mobilized was only a part of the strength of his own master. And at the moment when Luo Feng was suppressed, Augusto's eyes couldn't help but smile. The first two lords have been invited to become members of the Eternal Land, but now this guy is too weak, isn't he? It should be a clone. Tell me your name, I don't want to slay the unknown. Augusto's voice roared from within his domain. You can call me Luo Feng. Humph, if you still want to kill me, are you not afraid of me retaliating against you? You should know that what I am here is just a clone, but even if it is a clone, I am not afraid of you. Luo Feng looked at him with indifference in his eyes. Revenge me. Even the cultivator's Yuan has no choice but to take me. Why do you kill me? Agorsto couldn't help but be happy. He did indeed fight against Yuan, although he was suppressed by Yuan, but this did not affect his arrogance. Yuan, as one of the few places in the Eternal Land, represents a meaning that is self.evident. His strength can be imagined to be able to fully retreat in front of such a strong person. However, that was a long, long time ago. There's a lot of nonsense, let's take action. I want to taste the soul of the Cultivator Lord. Augusto's eyes were filled with greed, and his massive figure was immediately compressed to be the same size as Luo Feng's clone but also incredibly tall. In an instant, he transformed into a black light and rushed towards Luo Feng. As a special ancestor of Hun Yuan related to meteorites, his body is incredibly strong and can utilize the basic Hun Yuan power similar to the power of the earth. His gravitational field is an energy with a strong binding force, and Luo Feng only feels that his body is receiving a strong traction force, which also intensifies the opposing velocity between the two. At the moment when Augusto rushed over, his speed was extremely fast, and at this distance, it was just a breath of effort. Who? His arms, like the pinnacle of a mountain, thrust towards Luo Feng. However, when he charged forward, he directly thrust through Luo Feng's body, and his figure immediately dissipated. Hmm. Augusto looked into the distance. Just now, his thrust shattered only a remnant, and Luo Feng's body instantly appeared in an area hundreds of millions of light years away. It is the Dao Yi Huan body. In the Hunyuan space, as it is a universal space, the suppression force on the body is omnidirectional, and each dimension carries a part of the body. Generally, the divine body of Hunyuan lords is suppressed to the size of tens of millions of light years, and if a smaller body is used, it will also be more flexible. Like Luo Feng, 
he still maintains a normal body of millions of light years and is very agile. Mainly, the Dao E Huan body can switch between the real body and the Huan body as long as it is within the scope of his Dao E domain. As long as it is impossible to suppress or restrict his Huan body, it is difficult to damage him. Although Augusto's field is powerful, he has not yet reached the point where he can crush Luo Feng's sword like illusion. Moreover, within the realm of Dao Yi world, it is the ultimate thought of Luo Feng. He can easily condense into a phantom and switch naturally like teleportation. What Luo Feng has to admit is that this Agaristo is indeed very strong. If he didn't dodge the punch just now, his body may not be able to withstand it. This is the first time that Luo Feng has engaged in a life battle at the level of the ancestor of Hun Yuan, which can be considered as accumulating some experience. At the same time, we have gained a preliminary understanding of these special primordial life forms of Hun Yuan. Your strength is indeed very strong, but you can't touch me, Luo Feng said, waving his hand casually. At the same time, a highly condensed sword intent formed a golden sword light, which broke through the chaotic airflow and the territory of Agaristo, charging away at a terrifying speed. Augusto didn't want to dodge at all. Because in his opinion, this blade of light was too weak. A knife landed on his body, leaving only a faint mark before disappearing without causing any harm. Luo Feng knew that this guy's defense was terrible, but he didn't expect that his knife only left a small mark. I have no choice, I am now a weak clone, and it is obviously difficult to shake this big guy. This is not the ancestor of some innate Hunyuan life, but a special innate Hunyuan life form. In terms of strength, these special Hunyuan lives are generally stronger than those that may have grown up in the innate Hunyuan ethnic group. After all, these guys are born at the Lord level and often possess certain special abilities, while the innate Hunyuan ethnic group requires the cultivation and awakening of their bloodline. Luo Feng felt that this guy must also have some special abilities. Just now, the sharp arm stabbed, it was just a probe. At present, he has already taken action, and in the absence of any threat, this Agaristo must be even more excited. Obviously, as expected by Luo Feng, Agaristo grinned and said, this is the strength of the new lord, it's really weak enough. He knew it was a clone, but he still felt happy to be able to suppress these cultivators, Lord Hunyuan. With another movement of his body, he transformed into a residual shadow and killed Luo Feng. Moreover, within the scope of the gravitational field at this time, suddenly a series of yellow-brown airflow emerged, which were like tentacles scattered in all directions within Luo Feng's knife intention field. I see how you're still hiding, said Augusto excitedly. Who? The pointed arm pierced Luo Feng like a sharp spear. Undoubtedly, Luo Feng used the same move to switch between his body and a phantom body that had just started thinking. However, when he just switched over, the yellow-brown airflow like tentacles immediately stabbed Luo Feng. This may seem like a tentacle, but after all, this Agaristo is a genuine lord level, and the strength of this tentacle is not weaker than that of his clone. Even though he has not become one of the Eternal Lands, his strength cannot be underestimated. Fortunately, Luo Feng was well prepared and condensed a shield of sword intent in front of him. At the same time, strands of extremely penetrating sword intent transformed into small blades, facing his tentacles and exploding around Luo Feng in an instant. There is no problem using the power of one's own sword to fight against the territory of Agaristo, at least one is also a lord. It may not be possible to confront this tall man head dot on, but trying to suppress Luo Feng by relying on his field may be too undervalued. As long as he is in the place where his sword reaches, he can leave at any time. At present, he just wants to test the strength of this guy. Agaristo, are you just capable of this? You are also a naturally special Hunyuan lord, and you can't even suppress a clone of me. If it spreads, don't you think it's embarrassing? Luo Feng grinned, his eyes full of provocation. Humph. Augusto snorted coldly without speaking. And within his field, a stronger gravitational force suddenly erupted, 
skyrocketing tenfold compared to just now, instantly causing Luo Feng's body to become somewhat unstable and almost being sucked towards him. Luo Feng understood that this Agaristo should have a stronger body, so this field can attract him as much as possible. However, what Luo Feng didn't know was that besides sucking, Agaristo could actually form a repulsive force, which made the enemy unable to approach. However, facing such a weak opponent, Agaristo didn't need to use this repulsive force. At this moment, not only did gravity increase, but the yellow-brown airflow-like tentacles also seemed stronger. From a distance, it was as if countless tentacles were dancing beside him. Within this field, it seems that Luo Feng's Dao Yi world has also been somewhat excluded. Who? This time, Augusto's speed seemed to have increased. Luo Feng's expression froze and he dared not let it grow. His figure dissipated and when he reappeared, he had already fallen outside Augusto's strongest field. The world of swords is already more extensive than that of Galsto, which means he has no way to deal with Luo Feng. The weak life on the side of the source world can become a lord, and which one is not a means to heaven, it is not something these innate special Hunyuan lords can understand. Agaristo, my clone may not be your opponent, but I remember you. I hope we don't meet again next time. Otherwise, do you think I can chop your body apart? Luo Feng's voice resounded through the world of Dao Yi. Looking at this big guy, Luo Feng had no worries from beginning to end. Although his clone strength was not strong, in terms of escape methods, it was definitely first dot class. At this point, although both are still within the realm, there is already a distant distance between the two sides. Within this range, time and space are suppressed by the realm, and no one can achieve teleportation. However, Luo Feng's methods within the realm are like teleportation, and Agaristo knows that he has no chance. And as Augusto looked at Luo Feng, his expression in his eyes eventually became somewhat unattractive. The means of practitioners are indeed more extensive than theirs, and even a clone cannot be killed. Humph, if you don't use your own escape device, I can easily crush you. Agaristo scolded casually, but Luo Feng, I remember you too. I'm looking forward to meeting your true master. Aren't you going to chop me up? I also want to know if you have the ability to do something that even Yuan can't do. Then you can wait and see. I really want to see if it's my knife or your stinky leather armor. Luo Feng chuckled lightly. It seems that it is indeed true. These lords born in the Hunyuan side, even special life lords, are not very friendly to the source world side. If they don't agree, they will start fighting. They still think that the relationship between the two is between hunters and prey. They always feel that the source world lords are just their food. Luo Feng looked at the mountain-shaped meteorite world behind him. There was a lord lurking in this place, and he even came out to attack him directly. Perhaps there was something unusual, but he didn't know what was inside. However, there must be something. If the strength does not allow it, let's put it aside for now. Immediately, Luo Feng ignored this thing and teleported directly to the edge of the blade world, leaving in one direction. As he watched the direction of Luo Feng's departure, just as Luo Feng had anticipated, Augusto felt a sigh of relief in his eyes. He dared to challenge so loudly, but in fact, it was to provide cover for himself because he didn't want Luo Feng to come here and felt that he was protecting something. End of this chapter Chapter 8 Luo Feng's Troubles. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 8. Luo Feng's Troubles. After leaving the meteorite world in the shape of a mountain range, Luo Feng's figure once again flew in the vast void, entering a lonely journey. It was only a short time before he clashed with Agaristo, but before that, he had been wandering here for more than thirty years, discovering only floating meteorite fragments. These meteorite fragments almost all drifted slowly in one direction, which was in the same direction as the origin continent. It is the deep direction of the Hunyuan space. This kind of drifting seems to be slow and still, but with the Lord level resolution and the increased number of people seen, it can still be distinguished. 
these meteorites are all drifting in a unified direction, not disorderly. To Luo Fong, this is quite strange. In the era of the universe, meteorites in the void were at most pulled by the gravitational pull of some powerful celestial bodies, and their trajectories were disorderly. However, in the turbid space, it seems that as long as they do not encounter some super-large celestial bodies, their movements are all along a deep direction, which is somewhat unreasonable. Over the past few decades, Luo Fong has seen a considerable number of meteorites, not just some, but the vast majority. This gave Luo Fong an idea in his heart. Luo Fong sat cross-legged on a large meteorite, and the behavior of the meteorite during this period clearly confirmed his speculation. Although the drift was slow, it did indeed exist. I don't know if Brother Yuan and his team have studied where these meteorites will drift, Luo Fong said to himself. Immediately stand up and continue searching in this vast and chaotic space. In the vast and chaotic space, most of the fragments in this area are meteorite fragments. It seems difficult to find a source world, mainly because there is no map, and Luo Fong dare not move forward recklessly on a large scale. The spatiotemporal dimension around the source world is collapsed and distorted, so it is still difficult to perceive it based on the influence of the source world itself, unless it is close in distance. Can only rely on weak gravity in the distant continent of origin. Luo Feng's second clone has finally successfully split again, possessing the same level of strength as the ancestor of the innate Hunyuan ethnic group. A thought came to the Hunyuan space. With the map provided by Brother Yuan and his team, it will take about seven years to travel from here to the Void World. Luo Feng looked at a direction from afar, which was also the location of his first clone. However, it would take more than ten years to merge with the clone now. If these times are converted to time within the source world, it would be over one hundred thousand years. There is no way, as the teleportation distance of the clone is relatively short. However, when it comes to Lord Hunyuan, time has lost its meaning to them. As long as they are not killed by stronger enemies, they will never die or perish. Even if the source world is shattered, they are still transcendent. My main task now is not only to search for the source world, but also to collect some materials to build a sword, otherwise my strength will still be too weak. Since a simple battle with Agaristo, Luo Feng clearly felt his weakness. The clone's own strength was about to be weaker, and even if there were flaws in the weapon, its strength naturally became even weaker. In the Hunyuan space, in addition to some meteorite fragments, some materials with good texture, such as Hunyuan sand, are also filtered out. These are very common substances that are good for making simple Hunyuan weapons, but the disadvantage is that they may still be inferior in the presence of lords. If there are some special metals in the Hunyuan space, they are the true treasures for creating divine weapons, but these materials are not abundant and difficult to encounter. As for some innate Hunyuan spiritual treasures that are naturally nurtured, they may be miracles in this space, very few, but each one is extremely precious. Even weaker is the treasure that accompanies those special Hunyuan ancestors. Unfortunately, those weapons will become special life weapons. To seize them, one must have strength. It is precisely because of this that the innate special Hunyuan ancestor is also highly coveted by the innate Hunyuan life group, who all want to kill them and seize their treasures. Therefore, there is actually a contradiction between these two different types, but their only similarity is that they like to eat the world of Hunyuan. Unfortunately, it's a pity to silence heaven and earth. It would be great if he could condense the divine power of the Hunyuan level. Luo Feng had this idea, and he had also tried it briefly, but it was not successful. He also asked Yuan, and Yuan seemed to have no way to do it. It seemed that this could not be successful. However, since there is still higher dot level power in this Hunyuan space, theoretically it should be feasible. As for where the problem lies, Yuan has not yet figured it out. The basic divine power of Hunyuan cannot be condensed or burned, which seems to be a limitation. Silence of heaven and earth is a very incredible skill. Before Lord Hunyuan, the upper limit of divine power can be greatly increased. 
If Hanyuan level divine power is also feasible, it means that this skill can break the upper limit of Hanyuan. Perhaps even a clone can have top dot notch power. Obviously, this is not allowed by the rules within the Hanyuan space. There is no way, after entering the Hanyuan space, everything is like starting over again, and it is difficult to support the use of treasures and secret techniques in the Hanyuan space. The Star Tower is now one of its own precious treasures, but since reaching the level of Lord Hanyuan, it seems that the Star Tower has reached a limit state. Even if it is a transformation of the Glass World Chi in the active world, it has only reached the level of Hanyuan. The current state is like that of the Lord, belonging to the Hanyuan level. As for whether there are better treasures, there are. One of them is the innate Hanyuan Lingbao, which is naturally nurtured in the Hanyuan space. In the Hanyuan space, treasures also have levels. Ordinary Hanyuan Divine Weapon, Jibao, Advanced Hanyuan Divine Weapon, Jibao, Peak Hanyuan Divine Weapon, Jibao, Hanyuan Lingbao, and Innate Hanyuan Lingbao are almost all natural. Hanyuan Lingbao is often accompanied by some powerful and special Hanyuan ancestors, some are refined through postnatal cultivation, while innate Hanyuan Lingbao is truly nurtured by heaven and earth, nurtured under certain special conditions in Hanyuan space, with some unimaginable ability and the ability to easily unleash the power of the top Hanyuan. As for whether there are any other treasures above the congenital Hanyuan Lingbao, or if these are the different levels of the congenital Hanyuan Lingbao, if it contains the ultimate power of the congenital Hanyuan Lingbao, such treasures are undoubtedly the most terrifying treasures, but so far Yuan has not heard of such things. The current star tower, classified by level, is close to the peak of the Hanyuan treasure. In the hands of Luo Feng, it can unleash Luo Feng's top dot notch Hanyuan power. The power of the Tao. Moreover, whether it is in the field, outbreak, or defense, Luo Feng can unleash his ultimate power. As for secret techniques and skills, Luo Feng still needs to spend time elevating them to the level of Hanyuan. If not, it is just the simplest use of power, and it is not possible to unleash all the power. Although the past knife techniques were easy to reach the level of Hanyuan, it still requires a lot of effort to further enhance the combat power. Next, in addition to cultivating clones, Luo Feng also has a new direction. If he wants to avoid being bullied in the Hanyuan space, his strength still needs to be improved. Organizing sword techniques, refining treasures, and mastering more top-dot-notch Hanyuan power are also considered one of the directions. Now Yuan has achieved this step. This new clone, following the direction, began to head towards the source world shimmering with blue-dot-green light, which could also be considered the first world that Luo Foam wanted to defend. In the vast and chaotic space, chaotic energy is violently turbulent. Luofeng cautiously advanced, drifting for nearly a century. His third, fourth, and fifth clones had already split, but he still couldn't discover a new source world. Now, this third and fourth avatar can just guard the other two source worlds. As for the fifth clone, it has joined the search for the source world. Luofeng, come to me, I'll give you the location and discover a new source world. This world is good and very unique. Yuan directly messaged Luo Feng. Luo Feng felt the vibration coming from the communication tool, but his thoughts entered and sensed it. While knowing the meta message, it also contained the map points where the source world was located, which was still far away from his clone. Fortunately, the locations where he went to this source world were marked with divine power, and he could move forward quickly. At such a distance, it is estimated to take nearly 20 years to arrive. Luo Feng looked at the map. However, there is no shortage of time now. In addition to searching for the source world, Luo Feng also searched for materials as much as possible to create some Hanyuan weapons for his clone. After spending 20 years and 9 months, Luo Feng finally arrived outside the source world marked by Yuan and easily locked Yuan's position. This is a source world that can rival the void world or even the origin continent, with a volume that doesn't seem much larger than the origin continent. The vitality outside the entire world is abundant, and when a continuous stream of chaotic matter passes through its surface, 
it is transformed into the power of the source world. What surprised Luo Feng was that this world seems very magical, forming a yin yang faction, much like the two sides of the origin continent, which are two material world faces. Beside Luo Feng, Yuan's clone was also here, looking at the world and nodding. This world is very unique, with a destructive side and a vibrant side. However, they do not have any distinction between good and evil, they only exist in different races and cultivate different systems. In the end, no matter which side controls this source world, the world will be changed. What is related to this is the choice of fate. Luo Feng felt carefully and said, I feel that this destructive side is somewhat similar to the realm within the realm beast clan, and the races inside also seem to be similar to the realm beast clan. Feeling this, Luo Feng couldn't help but think of Morosa. Morosa had been with him for a long time, but now he was only equivalent to a supreme powerhouse. This kind of race is called the Destruction Demon Clan, which is favored by the rules of the Source World just like the World Beasts. However, it is not as special as the World Beasts. World Beasts are perfect genetic life forms in the Source World, with very few in number, and their cultivation talents are very low. To improve their strength, they can only rely on mining their bloodline power, which is similar to the innate Hunyuan life. However, the Destruction Demon Clan is different. Although there are many Destruction Demon Clans, there are bottlenecks in cultivation, they are not as restricted by rules as the World Beasts. World Beasts are almost difficult to become Lord Level, with a lower probability than the innate Hunyuan life. The Destruction Demon Clan, like other lives, has a great opportunity. It is a system within the rules, because it can easily have power, it is more restricted by the rules, and it is also easier to break the rules outside of the rules, Yuan explained. Can beasts in the realm enhance their strength by digging their bloodlines? Luo Feng was surprised, obviously unaware of this. If that's the case, perhaps Morosa's strength can be further enhanced. Especially since he is also a perfect living organism, he actually has some research on bloodlines, and perhaps he can pass on this knowledge to Morosa. In the past, as he entered the realm of divine kings, the opportunities for Morosa to take action decreased, and as he became supreme, Morosa could only help protect his people more. Throughout his journey to this day, Morosa has also helped himself a lot, and as a servant, he actually hopes to be with Luo Feng and help complete more things. Not bad, the realm beasts are actually very similar to the innate Hunyuan life group. Once the realm beasts are born, as long as they fight and become kings according to the rules, they are destined to become the top beings in the source world. The same goes for the innate Hunyuan life group, which is born with Hunyuan life and has a high starting point, but one of them is in the source world and the other is in a higher level of the larger world. Yuan explained. I almost forgot if you don't ask me. You have a beast slave, so you should know that the best way to enhance his strength is to let him eat some Hunyuan life or cosmic origin. This way is the same as natural Hunyuan life. They can also grow by eating other life or the origin of the source world. Yuan continued. Luo Feng nodded, feeling that he had understood a bit. Initially, Morosa also gained control of the source of destruction after eating a lot of chaotic life. However, now Luo Feng has roughly understood that the destructive power of the realm beasts is likely linked to their bloodline. As long as their bloodline is increased, it should be possible to enhance the power of the destructive power. Moreover, theoretically, the destructive power also has a top-notch level of the Hunyuan level. Let's go in and take a look at this world together. In my perception, this world is still very good, maybe it can also give birth to a lord. Yuan looked at this huge world and immediately flew towards it. Luo Feng followed closely behind. The source world generally has a protective mechanism, and as long as it is a complete source world, there is no external channel. The world in front of us seems to have no channel, and obviously, this world is likely to be discovered for the first time. As the lords of the source world, Luo Feng and Yuan are both foreign creatures, and the source world has a strong suppressive effect on them. If they want to enter it, 
they also need to loosen their own management of internal rules. If they forcefully break through, it is likely to cause the entire world to fall apart. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Shuangjia Mountain. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 9 Shuangjia Mountain Entering the Source World, in order to prevent its collapse, both Yuan and Luo Feng actively accepted the suppression power of the Source World, and their realm strength was suppressed at the level of the chaotic realm, Holy Realm. The world they entered was filled with destructive power, and they stood in the endless void, feeling the atmosphere of heaven and earth full of destructive charm. However, they still did not feel any discomfort. The hidden power in the space has a huge benefit in improving physical activity. Even if their realm is suppressed, both of them feel that this place is indeed comfortable. Did you feel it? Yuan looked at Luo Feng and asked. Are you saying the fate of this world belongs to what direction? Luo Feng asked. Well, regarding the will of this world, there seems to be a vague destiny, Yuan Hui said. After pondering for a while, Luo Feng spoke up and said, these two worlds will eventually be assimilated and destroyed, eventually becoming a complete whole. If the one representing destruction wins, then the ultimate fate of this world represents the fate of the destroying tribe. If the one representing vitality wins, then the fate representing vitality appears. This is very different from the origin continent, and they cannot coexist in the end. Yuan Weiwei nodded slightly. Feeling the emptiness here, as lords, one can vaguely feel the highest will of this source world, which also serves as a warning to them. However, both lords have a higher will than themselves, so they have no choice but to be prepared for self-destruction at any time. The other side of the continent of origin has already been suppressed in the process of evolution, so only one side has the advantage, so there is no possibility of conflict. The continent of origin must be the arranger of fate, and here are two worlds evenly matched, with two original intentions. In the future, it is destined that only one world can win, and the losing side will be completely assimilated. Yuan slowly spoke up. The fate of this world is such that two lords will not appear at the same time. It is also destined that the competition in the future will become even more intense. Regardless of which side is the first to give birth to a perfect world. Class Hunyuan life, it mainly integrates the will of the world, and ultimately can gain control of the entire world. At that time, the other side will be destroyed and assimilated. Luo Feng also nodded and said. Let's go and explore this world. This place is more complete than the source world where the origin continent is located, and the system is relatively complete. As long as it is not swallowed by those naturally born Hunyuan ancestors, the probability of producing a lord level in the future is higher than other source worlds. We cannot control which side or win, nor can we interfere too much, otherwise it will ultimately affect the fate of the entire source world. Fate is too mysterious, and we cannot interfere too much. Yuan said. During the conversation between the two lords, two streams of light quickly flew forward. The power here has no chaotic airflow. Apart from being suppressed, even if it is more suitable for destroying the demon cultivation side, everything else is very comfortable. Quickly, we arrived outside of a super large city, which was a massive city on a scale comparable to a divine king kingdom originating from the continent. With a land area of over 20 trillion light dot years in length and width, it was a giant presence in this continental world. As a lord, I have seen a lot, but I can't help but admire it. It can be seen from this that the world has developed to a very high level, but there has not yet been an existence that can control this world. The name of Qianchuan City is very ordinary, and the lord of this city should only be a divine king, Yuan said. The entire city was under his perception, and the strongest was only the divine king realm, obviously not taking a step forward. But this Qianchuan city is actually the busiest in the world. Let's go in and take a look, Luo Feng smiled. As a super large city, it is open and guarded by two players who are equivalent to the level of the void true god. Generally, the city fee is aimed at those below the level of the eternal true god. 
Only those with strength exceeding the level of the eternal true God are allowed to enter the city for free. Luo Feng and Yuan have released a bit of energy and can enter it for free. The city is very bustling. A city is actually a kingdom of divine kings, with mountains, rivers, and a different world inside. This means has already been done very well in the realm of divine kings. Destruction of the demon race, with the word demon, is not its ugliness or evil, but rather its handsome appearance, which is similar to that of Morosa, except that the power they use tends towards destruction. Moreover, the destruction demon clan is not only one race, but also adapted to the power of destruction, collectively known as the destruction demon clan. It is also divided into different races within, which is the vibrant world. In fact, there are many races, but they all use similar powers. In an inn restaurant. Yuan and Luo Feng ordered some specialty dishes, and the two sat at the table sipping. Shopkeeper, come here for a moment. Yuan said in a different language in this world, but it made the shopkeeper understand the meaning without any abnormal detection. He walked up to Yuan, who looked at him. The expression in his eyes suddenly became somewhat bewildered and lifeless. He was stunned for a while before walking back to the front desk. This city is very good, it can be considered the oldest city in this history, and there are many powerful divine kings, but I don't know how their cultivation system is. Yuan just obtained some information about Qianchuan city from the shopkeeper's memory, but what he knew was only the simplest. After a simple meal, the two lords quietly left. The two did not linger much inside the city, but instead went directly outside the city. This place is indeed worth leaving behind something for us. I remember you must have understood the origin of destruction. If you spend some time, you should be able to elevate it to the level of the source world, and the path of destruction is very compatible with this world. Perhaps it can bring us some surprises, but not necessarily. Yuan looked at Luo Feng and smiled, why not choose a place to build a city? This world is very good. Do you prefer the side that destroys the demon race? Luo Feng looked at Yuan in surprise. If there were a lord in another world, he would stand opposite us. This is a world of one body and two sides, and either side can become a lord. Maybe, when the other party becomes a lord, it will become the opposite. Don't worry, if we want to establish it, of course, it will be rain and dew. I have sensed this world and roughly guessed the will of this source world. Even if one side does not give birth to world.class Hunyuan life, the two worlds will merge and merge, and there will inevitably be war between the two worlds. This is the fate of this world. There is a weak spatio-temporal position between these two worlds. Once time comes, this weak position will evolve into a spatio-temporal channel. When the two are integrated, we will choose that place to establish a city world, connecting the two worlds. Whether in the realm of destruction or in the realm of life, it can radiate to both worlds. I believe you should also be able to feel this position, Yuan said. Luo Feng nodded. Just now I searched for memories about this world, and that place is called Shuangjie Mountain, which is a location that connects two time and space. However, since ancient times, no one has been able to truly enter Shuangjie Mountain. After all, it is a passage connecting two worlds, and where we build a city can also be considered as giving these weak lives a chance. Yuan added. Shuangjie Mountain is the most unique mountain peak here, and its existence is very similar to the primitive mountain of the origin continent. Of course, the primitive mountain was originally written by Yuan, which placed it in the area between the origin continent and the Hunyuan divine realm. Nowadays, if we want to establish a city on Shuangjie Mountain, Yuan should be very experienced. Both of them looked towards the direction of Shuangjie Mountain. Obviously, as lords, even if they were oppressed by the source world itself, certain abilities must be above those equivalent to the realm of the divine king. The two immediately disappeared in a blink of an eye. Not long after, it appeared at the position of the so dot called Shuangjie Mountain. This is a towering peak that rises into the clouds, and it looks like a double peak, with two peaks mapping and entangled with each other. 
and between the two mountains is the link between the two worlds. The time and space here are so complex, some resembling the collapse of a chaotic universe. The two worlds intertwine with each other and eventually appear here in the form of a double peak, Luo Feng exclaimed in surprise. Yes, this is the power of nature's rules. All the rules we understand come from the natural world. Luo Feng, have you ever thought that these rules may not exist naturally, but a greater existence makes them like this? Just like the world in your body, you the final say, and the rules in each source world are also the the final say of some great existence. Yuan spoke, but his eyes became ethereal. As the first lord to emerge from the source world, he lived for an immensely long time. Even the second Jinchuan appeared a long time after he came out. As for Luo Feng, he also waited for a long time, so he thought a lot. The current level of realm is probably far from what Luo Feng can achieve. Under the rules, the Hunyuan space, the source world, the lord's inner world, various sub-worlds within the source world, and the outer universe of the divine king's inner world, the eternal true god, the void true god, etc. are all hierarchical, and above each correlation, there is a more terrifying existence. The source world is one level lower than the Hunyuan space, and it exists naturally. Are you saying that Hunyuan space may also be controlled by some terrifying existence? Luo Feng exclaimed. In this way, it's also a bit scary. Yes, the chaotic matter in the chaotic space appears to be chaotic and disorderly, but many rules are also ordered, and everything is set in general. The world has rules of operation, and the one that can create rules is purposeful consciousness. In this way, it is likely to be some great existence. Not bad, the difference between rules and chaos and disorder is whether there is a person or not. If there is no other existence, then everything should be chaotic and completely disordered. As long as there are rules, it means that everything has no end. Not to mention this, this matter is too far away for us. Let's see how to construct this city. Perhaps you need to understand some rules of this source world here to achieve it. Yuan looked at Shuangjia Mountain and immediately moved the topic back. Forcibly entering it to build a city may require breaking some rules to achieve the abilities of the Lord level, but to preserve everything, of course, one needs to understand some rules. This is not too difficult for me, Luo Feng nodded. Now, as a Lord, he has no problem comprehending some temporal and spatial rules. Yuan nodded and looked at the dimly fluctuating spacetime. Suddenly, his figure moved and walked directly into it. His figure also resisted the rules of spacetime here, and if he wanted to enter it, he seemed to have to break through hard. If the realm was suppressed in the holy realm, it was obviously impossible to make a strong breakthrough. His figure stood in the void, feeling it quietly, and then closed his eyes. When he opened them, there was already a strange color in his eyes. So it's like this. Yuan smiled slightly, and then his figure merged directly into time and space, walking one step to the position of the mountain inside the Shuangjia mountain. Luo Feng couldn't help but be stunned as he watched this scene. Is the rule here so easy to understand? It was just a moment of closing my eyes, and I didn't expect to be controlled by Yuan for a large part. Yuan, who entered it, turned around and glanced at Luo Feng, grinning as if saying, come in quickly. Luo Feng's body also flew up and arrived at the collapsed area of time and space. He could feel the fluctuations of the rules, but he couldn't enter it. If he forcibly entered, he had to use power comparable to the Supreme One to achieve it. His realm was suppressed, and it was obviously impossible to forcibly enter. Such an old thief, how could he easily comprehend the temporal and spatial rules here? How did he do it? Luo Feng also felt the fluctuations of the temporal and spatial rules here carefully, and the rules were presented in his eyes. However, with such a large number, it was impossible to comprehend them in an instant. No, he must have used a dream of withering just now. Luo Feng was startled and immediately reacted, thinking of something. If it's using a dream of death, it will be very fast. 
Luo Fong has compiled and copied all the rules here, and now he doesn't need to understand them. He just needs to replicate the running status of these rules into his dream, as long as he realizes them. At that moment, Luo Fong also closed his eyes and immediately entered a dreamy and desolate state. With just one thought, he opened his eyes again. At this moment, everything in front of him changed, and everything became simple and clear. With the same step, Luo Fong easily walked into the Xuanjie Mountain. You kid, I thought you didn't even have this kind of intelligence, and you still know how to use, one dream is dead, Yuan teasingly said. However, you used it too rough. Go back and think carefully. I can use it now, but you can always wake up and fall asleep at any time, and you probably can't do that yet. Luo Fong looked at Yuan in surprise and immediately nodded. From this perspective, the secrets left by Yuan are likely to be some castrated versions. Perhaps I can improve further by going back and tinkering with them, or in other words, when I reach the Lord, I also need to create some secrets myself. Without my own core secrets, it's like being more controlled by others. Let's start building a city here, which should be able to radiate to two worlds. However, it may be difficult for you to build it yourself, and I can help you. Yuan glanced at the land under his feet, and the temporal and spatial rules here extended everywhere, extending to the two worlds in this source world. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Luo Feng's Arrangement You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Luo Feng's Arrangement Soon, at the location of Shuangjie Mountain, a small and medium dot-sized city appeared. This city was like a city in the sky, suspended between the two mountains. It looked like a huge floating island, carrying a huge city. Looking outside, it adds a touch of mystery to this city. The city is completely integrated into the void here and extends to the outside world. Whether from the destructive power or the other world, one can understand the mysteries of time and space here and enter. However, they enter from different realms and will enter different time and space. The two lords stood outside the Xuanjie mountain, watching everything and nodded in satisfaction. At present, there should be very few cities that can enter it, and we can also leave some guidance in other places. Moreover, this is the most crucial place. Once the two realms enter the decisive stage, the rules here will be torn apart. At that time, our city will not be spared. When this city is torn down, it will be the time for the two realms to come together. Yuan slowly spoke. How about we make a bet and see which world between these two will give birth to a lord? Yuan looked at Luo Feng. Luo Feng couldn't help but become interested and said, Oh, that's a good suggestion. Come on, what do you want to bet on? Lord Infinite Lifespan, betting on each other is indeed a good suggestion. You're also very poor now, and there's nothing I'm interested in with you. Just bet and drink. If I win, you can go to Zia Quanzi's place to help me get a pot of ignition and damage marrow, of course, Yuan smiled. What if I win? Luo Feng retorted. If you win, if you also like to drink something, I can give you a whole pot of Bai Yuan Xian Quan. If you want other requirements, you can make a less unreasonable one. Of course, I think the probability of you winning against me is not high, and I will also let you choose the side first, Yuan teasingly said. He has been a lord for so many years, how could he possibly lose the bet? Okay, since you underestimate me so much, I, Luo Feng, will let you know that being able to break the magic with power may not necessarily be inferior to you in terms of vision. Luo Feng couldn't help but smile and looked at the vast world on this side, pondering for a while before speaking up, then I'll choose to destroy the world of the demon clan. Although I'm good at swordsmanship, I don't have much advantage compared to you on you. Instead, I will destroy the demon clan's side. If I elevate the power of destruction to the source world path, there will still be a certain opportunity. Of course, Luo Feng still wants to cultivate Morosa. If Morosa were in this world, he might still be able to grow and become his support again. Yuan nodded slightly and smiled slightly, 
I have also seen that the chances of winning and destroying the world of the demon clan are indeed higher. With a more brutal competition mechanism, the quality of producing strong ones in the future will also be higher. However, if I don't take advantage of your small advantage, then I will choose another one. Then, we will leave some inheritance in our respective worlds and see who can give birth to a lord. Luo Feng couldn't help but glance at the old man in silence, which was also known as taking advantage. If you choose another one yourself, this guy probably needs to have another set of arguments. In terms of destructive power, Yuan should not have the advantage he has. Since we have all chosen, let's make it this way. Yuan smiled again, I have to go prepare first. Speaking, he passed through the temporal and spatial rules and taboos in the Xuanjia Mountains and directly crossed to another world plane. This guy, he's still so anxious. Luo Feng muttered as he looked at the world. He wasn't in a hurry. What he wanted now was to send Morosa to this world and stir it up by making him act like a catfish. The cultivation method of Yuan, giving treasures and secrets, and everything else is self-destructive. While this method is good, Luo Feng doesn't have the capital. The simplest way is to introduce pressure. Let's go see this world first, Luo Feng thought to himself. On that day, I had already comprehended some of the mysteries of time and space through a dream of death, and it was still possible to teleport on a large scale. When Luo Feng reappeared, he appeared in a huge cliff. This world is very unique, and controlling the power of destruction can be said to be an excellent place. Luo Feng was just feeling quietly, with many thoughts about the origin of destruction triggering his thoughts. If the continent where he was born is like this, it is likely that he has achieved the path of destruction. Origin Continent Luo Feng's sixth clone quickly condensed and successfully cultivated, and with a thought, he came to the Star City. Morosa, as one of the guardians of the human race, usually takes on the appearance of a human race. Now, in his spare time, he is sleeping soundly, lying on a tree dreaming a beautiful dream. Morosa Luo Feng transmitted the information to Morosa. Morosa was startled and almost fell from the tree when he opened his eyes. How long has it been, how long has it been since his master called out to him? Morosa remembers that since Luo Feng became the divine king, his help has become less important. In the future, Luo Feng gradually became stronger, and he was only stuck in his original state. He was also increasingly unable to help Luo Feng's affairs, even if he later became an existence comparable to the Supreme One. Unfortunately, at that time, his master had become stronger and there was no place for him to be used. Guarding the human race has become his biggest task. At this moment, hearing Luo Feng's voice certainly made him ecstatic. Being able to be used by his master was the happiest thing for him. Under a teleportation, Lien appeared in front of Luo Feng. Master, said Morosa with a slightly excited expression. He still maintained the appearance of a young and delicate human, tall and thin, with long hair, which was somewhat similar to the ancient wandering wanderers. Luo Feng looked at him and nodded slightly. He did have feelings for Morosa, and even missed the time of adventure together. You must be very bored here too. Let me take you to a place where you should like it. In that place, maybe your strength can be further improved. Luo Feng smiled slightly. Morosa's eyes lit up. Of course he is bored. Now he is so bored that he can only sleep. If Luo Feng could have other arrangements, he would be extremely happy. Master, it is an honor for Morosa to serve his master again. Morosa lowered his head slightly and looked towards Luo Feng, who was the Supreme Lord, surpassing the rules of the Source World. Compared to him and the other beasts of the world, he was countless times more noble. He was truly standing at the top of the life form. Okay, Luo Feng smiled and immediately wrapped his strength around Morosa, leaving the Source World in an instant. Entering the vast and chaotic space, the terrifying pressure of chaotic airflow alone is enough to scare Morosa. The chaotic power here cannot withstand this level of power unless it is a life that is naturally adapted to growing in the chaotic space. 
In addition to the chaotic pressure, there are also many terrifying radiating effects. Morosa didn't ask where he was going, but Luo Feng followed the distant induction and immediately wrapped his divine power around him, teleporting away. After spending decades like this. Finally, I have arrived outside that vast world. Morosa, because we are both extraterrestrial beings, if you want to adapt to this world, you must choose a carrier of life to seize, and I have already helped you choose the carrier you want. Luofeng immediately led Morosa into the realm of destruction in this world, and his voice rang in Morosa's mind. Entering here, Morosa was instantly awakened and couldn't help but feel a sense of familiarity, even though he was suppressed by the rules. The Destruction Demon Clan is essentially the same as the Destruction Demon Clan, both wielding the power of destruction. However, the difference between the Destruction Demon Clan and the Destruction Demon Clan is that the Destruction Demon Clan is subject to super strong limitations of the highest rules. In a single birth, only by constantly devouring the race can they become the strongest, while the Destruction Demon Clan does not have this limitation. They rely on their own abilities to constantly become stronger, and can even completely break through the limitations of this world. Destroying one side can also control this world. How do you feel, does this world have a sense of familiarity? Luo Feng smiled. Returning to my master, there is indeed a sense of familiarity, but my physical realm is currently being suppressed. I feel that I should only be at the level of a holy realm, and my power cannot be unleashed, Morosa replied truthfully. Foreign life is inevitable, that's why you have to make a sacrifice, said Luo Feng. When he carried Morosa on another teleportation, he had already arrived at his other clone, and next to Luo Feng stood a life form with silver scales, legs and claws, but also a peculiar tail. This is one of the races of the destruction demon clan here. Moreover, this guy is relatively evil, so Luo Feng also chose to bring him over. He is equivalent to a guy who has just broken through the Holy Land, and his strength is also quite good. If it is not for Luo Feng's strong will, I'm afraid it would take a dim sum of blood to defeat him by strength. Morosa, this is the carrier you want. This guy has an upper genetic bias in the race here, so he can be considered a powerful race, Luo Feng instructed. Yes, Master. Morosa did not hesitate at all. With the help of Luo Feng, the soul directly emerged and then transformed into an illusory cone of light, drilling directly into the silver guy. At the same time, Morosa's soul also directly wrapped around the other person's soul, completely refining its soul power into a part of himself. In just a moment, when he opened his eyes and looked at Luo Feng, it was clear that it was Morosa. Master, we have successfully taken it away. Morosa excitedly tried to move his muscles and bones. Although his strength was much weaker, he no longer had the limitations of the underworld and could let go more. His gaze turned to his original body, which could naturally become his nourishment. Your original body is equivalent to the supreme level. If you swallow it, it should restore you to the level of a divine king, and your will is the most important. In this way, there should be no opponent for you in the whole world. What you need to do now is to understand the destructive power here, and also guide the growth of these guys. I hope you can help them grow, cultivate some strong ones, even stronger ones than you. Luo Feng nodded and then looked at Morosa. Of course, the best scenario is that you can act as a catfish, stirring up the world situation and allowing them to grow up faster from various crises. Destroying the demon race is inherently bloodthirsty, and different races compete against each other for resources, just like other races. Like Chikua Castle before, it was just a place of refuge for the strong, but outside the city, there would still be killings everywhere. And this, perhaps, is the essence of this source world. In the end, the final battle between the two sides will ultimately determine a winner. Only the true victor can control this world. Master, I understand what you mean. Morosa was faintly excited. The past nature cannot be released because he became a servant of Luo Feng, but here, the true destruction for the sake of destruction, this is simply his new home. If you can become the strongest one, 
it would be even better. However, if there are some geniuses, I hope you leave a chance. I don't want to see the world stagnate and develop. Luo Feng's meaning is to allow him to let go of killing, but not excessively kill, especially those who are truly talented and worthy of cultivation, perhaps they can become truly strong. Yes, Master, Morosa nodded. Well, when your strength is strong enough, I'll arrange other tasks for you. You go ahead. Luo Feng waved his hand, and Morosa and his original body disappeared directly, already teleported to other places. And Luo Feng looked at this world. There is no distinction between good and evil in this world, they are all for survival. Two different worlds are destined to not coexist in the end, and it depends on which side ultimately wins. Next, it is here that he comprehends the path of destruction, and the traces within will also remain in this world, which can be considered as an opportunity for these destructive demons. In a vast group of waterfalls, the water flow here is very unique, with extremely high density, some resembling water in a floating sand sea. Each drop can reach the mass of a star, which is very terrifying. Once Luo Feng sits here, it will be a long time. The Way of Destruction Luo Feng opened his eyes. The true essence of drawing destructive power from the source of destruction is the Tao. However, what Luo Feng can grasp now, which is the Tao within the source world, cannot reach the level of the eternal Tao. After all, mastering the second type of eternal Tao is not easier than becoming a lord. The Tao in this source world is somewhat different from the origin continent. In the continent of origin, from the heart of the sword lies the Tao of Tao, and his ability to comprehend the eternal Tao of Tao in one fell swoop should be related to the path of Yentian. Here, the Tao has four levels, which should be Xiaocheng, De Sheng, Perfect, Ultimate, and Ultimate Up, which should be the eternal Tao. Now, Luo Feng can be considered as having just comprehended the path of destruction, and he is still far from reaching the top. However, even so, he can still walk ahead of these destructive demons, and it will be of great benefit to them if they come here in the future. At this stage, I need to accumulate some manuscripts, which can also be considered as some room for revision, so I temporarily write one chapter a day. I haven't spread the pages yet, and I'm afraid I may not be able to organize them well enough. End of this chapter